could be. Hopefully, it's what it should be. This is your boy, N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And it's the hottest goddamn room there. It is today. Hold my cup, because we, we, we got some, a special guest today. It's hot as a motherfucker in here. This is Drink Chaps. <laughs> Happy hour. Make some noise! Hey! Now, when you're talking about funny, 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 this guy's got to be one of the funniest people on the planet. His Netflix special. Yeah, There's not a moment on that special where, I, where tears wasn't coming out my eyes. Literally, from his prostate exam <laughs> to, to talking about his kids. Yeah, it was good. And then he said in his special, fuck them kids. <laughs> I said, holy shit, I never heard that. <laughs> the man is funny, funny. The, uh, when Dave Chappelle produced, you know, uh, uh, got a chance to produce for something other than himself, Dave Chappelle said that was the first person he thought of. Mm. He owned the club and was booking Dave Chappelle. The man has been doing this 31 years, I want to say, in comedy and has never had a dull moment that I saw. So in case you don't know who the fuck we talking about, we talking about the one, the only, motherfucking earthquake in the building! <laughs> Yeah. Listen, man, it's hot as a motherfucker. Yeah. This, 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 AC yo, ain't get here yet. Yo, no. man, AC ain't get here. Holy shit. Oh, man. So oh, man. We're taking so, it back. So, yeah, yo, so what's going on, Earthquake, man? I Is it 31 years ago? Yeah, man. I got into this uh, 91 when I got out the military, you know, right. and, um, you know, I was in that motherfucker for about nine years. Military? Yeah, the, the Air, Air Force, Force right? yeah. And you was doing comedy in the Air Force, wasn't you? Well, I was, you know, doing anything not to work. I'm not <laughs> You know, I'm a skater, they say. You know what I mean? You don't that, send me no yeah, way. I'm not that physical lady. Like that. You know what I mean? Right. If you need a man in there to fix something, I ain't your nigga. You know what I'm saying? I outsource you. You know what I mean? I ain't, I ain't that dude. You, you know what I mean? Drive to China back then? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I pick the motherfuckers when they first get over the board. Look here. My mother want me to clean my room. How much you charge me? Oh, I'm so that good. dude. And, so the Air Force. Yeah, let's, let's talk yeah. about the Air Force for a second. Yeah, I was in that drum for nine years. Years. I was gonna do 20 years, but the war broke out. So I told them niggas, I don't mind practicing. The Gulf war. <laughs> yeah, the niggas was going to war for real. I said, hey, Slim. I could have stayed at home to get shot at. Y'all He's got wearing a job. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just, one, to... just get out of my mama house. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck that. And so it was cool. It was one of the best experiences because coming from DC, it's segregated, you right. know? Right. And um, you get to see the world as When you say it's segregated, you talking about blacks, black, just and all white black. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anything black, yeah, yeah, anything yeah. black, segregated yeah. that way. Right. You know, thank you. And um, so it got me, let me see the world at 17, 18, right. Right. and on, on they dime, you mm -hmm. know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And um, that's what I did it. And I was like, let me see what's happening. And, you know, I knew it was a great place to start. They ain't say shit about finish. Right. So I was in that bitch just trying to find, you know, what am I going to do? And mm -hmm. do this for a while. Get out your mother's house. Get paid. She was arguing at you for free. Might as well go to these niggas. Get to <laughs> holler at you for a check. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? That's a good way of looking yeah, at it. Yeah, no, really. <laughs> My man got popped, you know, in, so the, in the game. Mm -hmm. So, um, you know, they was locking everybody up for their illegal pharmaceuticals. So right. mm -hmm. I just said, fuck it, let me try it out. So I just went in there and joined, dog, and right. say, what can I do to leave today? All right. And um, I passed the test. They said, uh, we can, you can be an after, air traffic controller. I said, when can I be one? The mother said, well, it'll take about nine months for us to get you in the class. I said, what do y'all got today that I can leave today? The nigga said, loading missiles. <laughs> I said, I'll take it. And that's what I did. Loaded missiles? I loaded nuclear weapons for oh, a living. Oh, man. Yeah, man, on B-52. That's, that's, that's some scary that. shit. So, it, hold on. Could you have dropped something? And, and, and yeah, I dropped one. Oh, so they got to they gotta be ignited. They got to, like, make them live or they, something, right? what, no, I'm sure it's still to, scary as fuck. They though. have to drop from a, a, an a, a certain altitude, altitude uh -huh. for the uh, kill switch to go. Nuclear, nuclear weapons are some of the most... Uh, safest munitions that we got. But it wow. does give you a different perspective that you could you're with your world. fate. Know that man has the that ability control, right. to right. destroy the world. Because right. everything you, you know, we coming up God, you right. know. Right. Uh, you know, 40 days, 40 nights, <laughs> no art. Nah, ain't none of that prehistoric bullshit. Mm -hmm. These motherfuckers got, you know, I was loading motherfucking missiles and bombs that could drop in on Miami, kill everybody yeah, in right, this right. bitch, and we can still occupy did this ever, bitch did you, did you ever use one that actually they used? Did, no. Okay. No, what you do is, you know, 
know, I used to say this all the time. What they have is they do it. Uh, they call it the elephant walk. And what you have to do is change all the munitions in different um, aircrafts when it's you know the, like each time. times when it's on alert because right. all our uh, all our planes are on alert. And what you do, you change the different um, munitions in them to let you know different capability in case what you have to do. So what they do is you know they you know the, the planes B fifty twos B one they just go what we call the elephant walk go up and down the fucking runway just up and down the taxiway now if that bitch take off that's your ass right. mm. but usually they just taxi back down and then you park them right. but if they take off that it's means, like dress rehearsal oh yeah it's just but if you see it take off you know what time it oh, is oh you know what's up yeah. that's why you run to a motherfucking girl like listen right. we got 45 minutes <laughs> I don't know who this nigga you waiting on but he ain't coming you might as well fuck me right now, now. what is that an edible yeah I got it <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on, who else yeah. took an edible on okay. Mike Tyson? I, I got the Mike Tyson book. Yeah, Mike here. Tyson, yes. Oh, in case yeah. you want to try yeah. those. Oh, I'll try one of them bite you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Mike, Mike Tyson dug us out. Yeah. He, okay. he had him on the show. He forced us to do it. He's like, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He, he forced us to do Mike shrooms. Show. Yeah, he forced us to do shrooms. <laughs> yeah. I looked yeah. at him. I said, nah, I ain't going to say no. <laughs> yeah, I was hanging around Dave and them. Them motherfuckers, some people around there was doing shrooms. They're like, have you did it? I said, nah, let's say you had tried. I said, I'm a little too old to be starting new drugs. Right. <laughs> 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 I got mine's where I'm at. Right. Give me a couple of these and right. shout out motherfucker scotch or, right. or some vodka. What I'm you drinking? Good. You some vodka? Yeah, I'm drinking okay. some vodka. Some Syrah. 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 <laughs> so just 31 years, man. Yeah. Um, what, what, what's, what's, the, what's the highlight of, of that 31 years? My special that I just did. The Netflix one. Yes. And especially uh. how it was done. I believe Dave called Netflix and for your number, he could have called you direct. Yeah, but he wanted to do it in a professional way. Yeah, he called me, called my agent. Well, I thought it was, I thought it was, you know, motherfuckers was playing a gag on me, you know, mm -hmm. trying to get me because they're like, uh, Dave Chappelle wants your, uh, want permission to get your phone number, and the reason why he wanted because he want to produce your special. I was like, stop fucking with me. But right. I've been knowing Dave for a long right. time. You used to so do, book him at your club, right? Yeah, okay. when he was a young dude, yeah. man, back paid him a lot 90, of money. Paid him a lot of money. <laughs> Because, you know, when you own a club, you know the budget. Right. This motherfucker's budget comes. You're like, who is this motherfucker? You know right. what I mean? So I said, nah, you know, you usually have people go pick him up. I said, nah, I'm going to pick him up right. myself. Right. Let me size this motherfucker up. Right. And um, I went and picked him up, and he was cool in a fan. So still, you know, you sit in the back. You know how you as a rapper. Mm. And you see what bars this motherfucker got. Mm. And he came up with the joke. How did they, white people came up the word nigga. So fucking brilliant. Right. Once I saw him do that, I'll say, yeah, he the truth. Right. Right. And we've been cool ever since. You, you know what's dope about comedians is, I think a true comedian never stops being a comedian. No. Like, you know what I mean? Like, um, like when we went to see Dave, like off off the camera, he was just still just 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 ranking on us. Yeah, yeah, right. Right. Like still was just joking. Like, and I was just like, I, I love that. Like, um, uh, Marlon Wayans, you had Marlon Wayans come here, right. and Marlon Wayans every time he come here, he always joke on my friend Sonny, right? My friend, he's not here. Sonny, Sonny will be here shortly, and he always and he always jokes on him, Popolte. <laughs> he called him Popolte. So Popolte. I just I just love I, I, I just love when is is that something that you guys practice or? Or it's just something that comes out natural. No, nah, that's just naturally who okay. we are. Okay, you know what I mean. Okay. Some people we call them. On all the time, yeah, right. You know right. what I'm saying? Like he's trying to win the room, right? But uh, the true comic is is just who they are, right? And that's a part of their personality. And if to truly find that they really like you, they'll show it to you around, yeah, joke around, right, right. Other right. ones, you know, most of us just stand back off of it, right. you know, just looking back, scoring, let's see who is. But the true ones, we rank against each other, and it'd be fun, right? It's real fun. So when y'all see each other, that's 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 what happens, like, yeah, mostly. <laughs> When the ones that don't have that fuck, fuckery in the game, right. you understand? Right. Understand that you're dealing with something that's subjective. Right. right. You know what I mean? Only different between me, Dave, Kev, and the rest of them. Right. And I say it all the time. These motherfuckers got an opportunity and they cashed in on it. Right. Mm -hmm. You see what right. I'm saying? Right. Which opened up more doors right. to uh, cash in. And, you know, that's why you just got to keep on just hoping that you can get through the gatekeepers that they allow you to go through to give you the opportunity. And that's what Dave did to me. Right. What I admire about your profession is right. that's different from 
miles that we don't have. Very few you mm. and rappers and Jay, you could see a rapper mm. and y'all will put them on. Right, Y'all right. go ahead, put them on pod on them, put them uh-huh. on them, on your on your motherfucker, on your uh, remix album, or something, yeah. Get you on a remix, put you on, and uh-huh. comedians don't do that. Really? Oh fuck no. I'll tell you what I'm jealous of comedians though. I went to a, a show one time in an amphitheater out here, mm-hmm. and all the comedians was backstage getting along. I was jealous as a motherfucker. I said, ain't nobody gonna stab each other? Ain't, ain't nobody gonna push you? The comedians don't. If y'all have beef, y'all keep it between yourself. Well, like, they only have they, beefs are the motherfuckers that know they ain't gonna make it. Mm, right. you understand? Just crumbs on shit. Yeah, right. they already done met the, 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 the limitation of their talent. Right. And they hating the other people up here. What I said previously, the, well, the great ones understand it's subjective. Right. You know what I mean? It's not, there's no. It's no definite in a joke. Somebody, I tell people all the time, nigga, somebody gonna find me not funny. Right. You just hope all them niggas don't show up at your show that night. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's the way it is. So, you know, the ones that find out they not gonna make it, right. or they need something for themselves to sleep, or put themselves to sleep, or able to keep themselves to sleep while they're not making it, mm-hmm. is the ones that have beef. But they're talking, you know, still cheap. Wouldn't the version of how you saying, like, the rappers putting on people on the remix or whatever, wouldn't the version in comedy be the opening act, the tours where you mm. have people Yeah, with but you? that's limited part. I'm talking about the upper echelon. I'm right. talking about the motherfucker that's already in the end zone. Right. Like, I say for metaphorically, like, I have always been in the red zone. I just needed somebody to do mm. what Dave did. Right, Go right. to the gatekeepers right. and say, yeah, y'all love me. Right. Y'all need to look at this motherfucker right. Right. Mm-hmm. right. That's what he, that's what he get it from. And, yeah. this would, and yeah. he would say, this is who I right. think is funny. Right. Like I tell all the comedians, you ain't got to help me. Right. Help whoever you think is funny. Help the John job because if they like them, they're going to love me when they see, right. see me. Right. So it's expanded. But they don't do it. They get in the motherfucking room. You know anybody else funny? Close the door. No, nah, I'm the last one. <laughs> <laughs> tell a joke right. and never be. Right. You know right. what I'm saying? Right. It's, right. And it's, I, I envy that because you, you see it every time I've been... You you know, like the rest of them over here, I'm the scene, hip hop going, and you're like, this is my new boy, and he produced his album. Mm-hmm. Like Drake was part of right. like, Cash Money, and, right. and it said, we don't have that. You right. know what I mean? We don't, they don't collaborate like that. They don't sit here and build up. We don't have a Puffy. Right. We don't have mm. a Russell Simmons. Oh, shit. We don't mm. have nobody that's facilitated with the gatekeepers that allow us to be who we are. We got so, Jamie Foxx. Well, Jamie Foxx, God, hey, man, I, yeah, I, I, hope, I hope he stay yeah. healthy. And everything you got Fox on, but you still Kevin need a you need uh, you got Kevin Hart does it too, mm. but a facilitator who ain't a comic. Mm. Mm. Right, right, you see what I'm saying? Mm. You know Russell Simmons never wanted to rap. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he facilitated yeah, the so. genre mm. to go with father. You know, what I'm gonna go mean? see him in Bali. I told you. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So we don't have that. Right. We so every step I get, I try to do that. I do it with my radio show, with Quake's House, put comedians together on there. Uh-huh. I did it with my own comedy club. Every uh-huh. step I get, just to expand it because there. No oh, so your club was a comedy club. I thought it was just a, a club. And no, it was a comedy night. club. Oh, it was a I didn't black know that. Comedy club. It was Uptown Comedy. It was in Atlanta, right? Yeah, we wow. got up to about four clubs, and that's yeah, one in Texas. Right? Yeah, we had two in Texas. Uh, two in Texas, two in Atlanta. Wow. So you helped a lot of comics through that. Yeah, so all the comics that you see from there, I booked them at my club before the time. Is is that why you think Dave wanted to pay you that respect because he kind of felt like you did that for him? Well, no, he Uh, saw me, me and Vlad was going at it. You oh, know what I mean? Oh yeah? And uh, it was about him. Oh, oh. And, um, you know, Vlad was wrong. Was, what what would Vlad say? Well, Vlad was under the press, you know, when, um, when, um, Dave Chappelle uh, went up against Viacom about uh, Comedy Central mm-hmm. and the rest of it about his uh, show, the right. Chappelle show. Right. And Vlad's position was, as the establishment, you know, he, you know, Viacom paid him for it and they shouldn't have to pay him anything else. Right. Based upon, you know, what the agreement was. And right. my shit is, you out your fucking mind. Right. If that motherfucker make that, they need to spread that money with him. Right. He made them what it is. Right. And then you need right. to pay and break the bread. 
And then he come with that old shit. Me and Vlad are cool. He come with that. Look at all the people that they invest in. The shirt don't work. I right. said, well, then again, that speaks volumes too. It did work, so he should right. be paid anymore. Should because be the exception when it works. He should right. be given more right. because it worked. Right. You can't hold him accountable because you got bad executives right. who don't know talent. They right. keep on making these motherfucker shows that don't stay on the air. Right. And then when a brother breaks through and get his on and it's a phenomenon, you're going to still keep him at the basic part and don't spread the blood hell yeah you should do that and then we went at it for about 20 minutes then I said we just gonna have to agree to disagree right. motherfucker right. cause you got your mind he said pose this interview with me and you hit it would you come back I said motherfucking right right dude <laughs> I'll be right here with right. this motherfucker you right. need to break that bread right. and it was just that simple so he saw that and um, he called me up and um, Dave Dave Chappelle okay. yeah Dave called me and um and the rest of it was history. And I knew this was the opportunity that could change the dynamic of my uh, career, you know, you know, to get it. So I, I took that material, I took that mental and cut 37 minutes, no cut on it, right. just period. Mm. No editing. I, what you seen in my special was what I said that, one that take? night. One take quick. Wow. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. most, most specials is several takes. Like, they'll do yeah, a couple shows we didn't, and we, take from the best. No, nah, we did the first one, and we had another show, and Dave said, you don't even need that one, but we're going to do it. And... Um, we did it That's first great. time because I I knew I understood the significance. Of right. it. I understood, you know, the eyes when somebody. You and know. you wrote that material. So, sorry, um, mm -hmm. um, you wrote that material soon as you got the call. Or how no, does that I process? Mean, how does that process? The process is I rotate material every year anyway. Right. Right. Okay. Because I don't have a TV show. Right. So I have to go see my fans once a year. Mm -hmm. right. So you can't sound like y'all. Right, I right. can't sing right. sing the same song that gave me a hit. Right. <laughs> I envy y'all niggas on that shit too. You know what I mean? I love to use some of these jokes from that. But um, yeah, so I was all ready. Now it was just, I was ready. Only decision is which material I wanted to use right. to put it out for. And that's what it was. Man, um, damn. One take? One take quick. That's crazy. That's my name. One take quick, baby. Wow. One take quick. God, I ain't gonna yeah. lie. I give them five. Yeah, man. Yeah, we, no we, editing or nothing on that. Nothing. nothing. Um, we, we ain't editing this shit neither. No. Man, one take quick, baby. Yo, man, our show is about giving people their flowers while they're here. So we wanted to give you your flowers face to face, man to man, and right. show you that love. Because you deserve hey, your goddamn hey, flowers. Hey, hey, Players beware. That's right. Snoop Dogg said it's like a Grammy because it comes from your people. Oh, it comes from your own that's people, goddamn it. Right. Yeah. yeah. We're just in my brand new house. That's right. Yeah, Next yeah. Week, my birthday. That's right. Oh, happy yeah, birthday, happy man. Birthday. It's May 29th, so... I'm May 28th. Go ahead, man. Let's see you talk about my life. You're a Gemini. <laughs> so you know what I'm doing. Yeah. Yeah. My wife's yeah. birthday is June 3rd. Gemini, yeah. too. We're Gemini. My son's June 4th. Yeah. yeah. So, so, I know we spoke about it a little bit, but can we talk about the process of, 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 of making... Of, of the, the timing of like you know, the material because when I looked at the special again right I, I watched it again today I watched the first day it came out you know what I mean I was so excited about it but then I, I watched it again today and it's like your timing that's like I, like you you like you like Biggie Smalls when it comes to timing like you my know favorite what, rapper you know that is I, I didn't know that I didn't know oh, that holy shit and happy birthday oh, to Biggie oh, too but oh, like Biggie my you, man you know how Biggie will always hit the perfect note at the perfect time and that's that's how it is so how do you how do you develop that. Is it's, you is it reading the room? I don't know. No, it's okay. it's a God given talent. Wow, it just comes. Wow, you know what I mean. Wow, and um, the reason you know this was no epiphany. Mm -hmm. You know, I never thought. I knew I would do something, but I never knew it would be this. You right. know what I mean? Right. And I tried this one day, and nothing better came. What? Try comedy? Yes, okay. comedy. Yes, thank you on right. that. Um, try comedy. And it never, you know, it, um, nothing better has never came. And I was with Steve Harvey and, you know, Steve was my man. I said, let me try this shit. I knocked on his door. He was, and, you know. Did he have it on a suit? 
No, nah, that's when he was broke. <laughs> oh, he's, he's, yeah, oh, he's broke. broke. He ain't have suits. Nah, he well, he had suits, but he ain't yeah, have cross suits. Colors, cross colors, yeah. Joints. He, yeah. he was. I caught him. He was. Uh, <laughs> I caught that motherfucker. Was he just on some jeans? <laughs> I need to see. Yeah, this. back in the day, you know, knocked on the door. You know, this was what Steve became. Steve, but Steve <laughs> always believed in Steve. Okay. Most confident man I ever met in my life. Wow. Um, knocked on the door. And you could tell he he where he was at in his career, cause outside the door is the parking lot. You know what I mean? Oh, so, <laughs> I'm not gonna do it. He had a knife. I'm like, nigga, ain't no one gonna love <laughs> So I say, man, my name is Earthquake, you know, and uh wanna do into some comedy. And uh I was still in the military and uh he uh he was like, all right, we'll be cool about it. And then to make the story we get into it. You know, you go to comics, they write their jokes, they like, dun, 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 punchline, dun, 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 punchline. Mm -hmm. I was trying to write this shit and it wouldn't come. And Steve was like, no, you a gifted. That shit come out your mouth already. Just let it flow. Right. And once he gave me that, yeah. that tool has been on ever since. So uh -huh. that's how I do it. Whatever comes, I formulate it. It's like a movie. And I see it, and then I interpret what I see with my eyes, and then I tell it to the audience. Right. That's how I do it. So I have never physically written a joke ever. I just take a oh, premise. Like a Biggie Small yeah, for real. I, take I, don't, I hit that on the nose. I'm about to pat myself on the back. Yes, that's yeah. Biggie Small. Yeah. That's Biggie Small you shit. take a premise, and I elaborate. That's why if you ever come to my shows, know the joke is told the same way mm. because you take it from a premise and lie. You right. know, it's like a lie, and you elaborate on it. Right. Right, right. And take it from a base of truth. Right. And you just put more shit to it. Right. And every time you tell it, it just get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. Right. And that's how I did it. And now, that's how I do it. Now, when you come up with your material, is it always real stuff? Or do you sometimes... Real stuff. I watch CNN, MSNBC, Fox, Fox? News. Of course. Oh, you the niggas that be watching? Yeah, that shit? nigga, I be watching Hannity. <laughs> you gotta watch all of it. You got to. I watch Twitter. I'm from the military, man. You can't win a war unless you get reconnaissance. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you gotta, gotta see what they think. Well, everybody right. saying. One thing about my Caucasian friends, they gonna tell you what's wrong. <laughs> they the <laughs> most complaining motherfuckers <laughs> yeah, in the world. Yeah, yeah. So they gonna let you know they exactly. Yeah. They, they gonna, gonna complain. Diego, they Diego gonna right bitch there. like they They gonna bitch for. Wow, man. Yeah. Fucking come on. And you got Let me tell you about him. One time we both were on the plane. I'm in first class, he in the back. Right. The plane ain't take off for 40 minutes. We get off the plane, they, he got a five hundred dollar voucher. Yeah. We on the same motherfucking plane. Yeah. He got a five hundred dollar voucher. Put a camera on Diego, yeah, man. Put a camera on Diego. Complaining, fucking complaining, bro. I tell my white friends all the time, I don't want to be white, but I sure want your benefits. <laughs> <laughs> the benefit of being a white man. Yeah. And get the yeah. fuck out of here. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah. Now, speaking of that, right, we had Burt Kreischer on the other day, right? Mm -hmm. Do you think it's harder for a black comedian or, or is it harder, is, is it just as hard as, as a white comedian? Or do they have it easier? Um, it's harder for a black comedian because they own all the establishments. Mm. So you got to understand, we don't own any comedy clubs. Right. That's what made me want to get my own. Right. Probably about two or three left in the country now. Mm. So the major mm. chains are, you know, Funny Bones and the Comedy Store, comedy Improv. store Improvs, and uh -huh. there, which are owned by my Caucasian friends. So right. you know, it's it's easier for them because they're the majority. Right. And they have 52 of the weeks. We're just trying to get one or two of them. So mm. very few of us. I say it's about 12 black comedians, 14 at the most, that works regularly in them clubs. Wow. The other one is for is for uh, white dudes, white comedians. Wow. And if you, if you don't have a following and you can't put ass in seats, then you won't break into those clubs. Right. And if you do, then you have to change your comedy to based upon right. the constituents that come the to your clubs. There, right. Right. You know what I mean? So it's easier for them that way, I would think. Okay. Does every comic, comic have to go through the Chitlin circuit? Or is there ways to cut through there? No, I mean, some of the biggest black comedians didn't never go through the um, Chitlin circuit. Dave Chappelle. Tiffany Haddish. Uh, Tiffany Haddish. Yeah. Uh, um, 
Uh, Kevin. Nah, Kev, Kev, Kev. Kev wasn't, Kev wasn't I seen Kev there. early. I did Kev's first movie with him on Paper Soldiers. Yeah. And I, I went to one of his shows. It was like four people there. Yeah. <laughs> like you, in the beginning. That's why that's my shit. Hey, I sir, remember, nigga. That's not the circuit that you're talking shit, about. That's, right. that's not the circuit. No, 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 there's the more venue down south, isn't it? Yeah, if you just Bible Belt type of shit. Just because you got four people don't mean you on a chicken. Oh, okay. My bad. I thought that meant small venue. Chicken Circuit is when you go on here and they play a motherfucker music and they stop the music and then you go do jokes and then the music come back yeah. on. Right. It's a jukebox. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Motherfuckers playing pool over there. <laughs> like, get your ass off, nigga. We want to hear some music. Right. Chilling right. circus is out. Yes. You yes. understand yes. what I'm saying? Yes. The motherfuckers in you might, might not get paid. Right. You understand right. what I'm saying? Right. You understand, motherfucker? <laughs> Look you in the face. You ain't even gonna believe this shit. Yeah. Nigga, I thought we was gonna have it. Nigga. <laughs> Got this bitch here for you. What about that? Get your dick sucked. And get you something to drink. <laughs> that money, nigga, we ain't even got it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you, you, you in the motherfucking club with four niggas out of town. You can drove down this bitch, uh, nigga. Uh, so Chitlin Circle is more of... Uh, but see, the, the benefit and the disadvantages of being a Chitlin Circle, the benefit, you're serving your people. Right. The disadvantage is none of your people have TV shows or, or networks. Right. The way to be in the mainstream clubs like your Dave, your Kevin's, that right. being catch a rising star in your hometown right. and all that, mm -hmm. and comedy store, people who can make a difference in your career right. be in the audience. Right. So they sit there like, oh, God damn. I'm going to put you in this movie. I'm going to put you in this show. In the Chitler show, you say? No, no, in the regular show. In the regular, okay. Mainstream. Right. So you'll see it. They be at the mainstream circuit. We all know who hit the Chicklin circuit and who don't. I have always been on the quote right. Chicklin circuit. Right. I just, you know, I'm more comfortable around our own. And then I personally speaking, you know, humbly speaking, to be quite honest with you, I, it's, it's, we right below pastors, man. We do therapy to the community, to our community by giving them laughter to take that goddamn stress off their chest. Well, comedy so, is definitely so therapy. So it's, it's, it's a rewarding. You yeah. know, when you fly in Macon, Georgia, right. in Augusta, Georgia, right. and you see our people, nigga, and you can right. see they're not living like us, but you're giving them a great time to sit back, right. eat some wings, sip on some Hennessy, and laugh all night. All right. You might have helped save a couple niggas' life today. Yeah. God damn, make some noise for that. God damn. Now, now you vaxxed up. You got the vaccine immediately. Fuck yeah. <laughs> we were you just know. talking about it earlier. Yeah, you got the yeah. vax too, right? I, I, got I feel y'all vibrating right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That shit ain't y'all shit. <laughs> I'm the black person that think y'all crazy. Okay. Yeah. Well, I take more chance than the vaccine. Yeah. 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 I like what you said that. You said living in D.C. is more, way more chances than the vaccine. Yeah, it's a lot more, man. Mm. You know, I, I, Plus, I was in the military, man. It's, you know, right. I didn't have so many motherfucking shots taking it for the man for cheaper. Right. Might as well take it for myself. So right. I ain't had no problem with it. I ain't do the booster. Right. Nah. I did the booster. The you second did one? the booster? Oh, nah, man. I ain't. My girl tried to Fat get Fat Joe me. did like five of them. Uh, Who? Fat Joe. He oh. did like five of them. I didn't want to do it at all, but I did uh. it for flying, thinking this is what we needed to go and start moving. Oh, around. yeah. Well, mine's for working, too. Right. Yeah, Because yeah, I was yeah. trying to get on set and yeah. shit like that. Yeah. They was stopping work. And when, yep. Yeah. See, I was funny. filming two movies. I mean, not two movies, two reality shows. I did Love and Hip Hop, right. and I did... um. Mary's boot camp. So I had to test Monday, Wednesday, and Friday every week. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. So I was like, fuck it. I ain't got it. Yeah. I, I got it. I ain't got it. So you got it. I, I ain't get it. I ain't get it. I ain't our get first, it. Our first episode yeah. that we did physically after quarantine, right. we got it. Like listen, almost listen, half, listen, the, listen, half, listen, half of the, the team shit. got COVID. His half. I was, Don't I was, blame it on my half. He tries to say the Latino <laughs> from COVID. No, I'm Latino <laughs> too. No, listen, listen. Y'all try all the time. In everything. Yeah, this is the first time I was, I was, I was lucky. He's like, build the wall. Look, I was lucky to have expensive taste because everyone who drank champagne didn't get it. Everyone who drank beers got it. Ooh. Yo, no, I was, I was yeah. lucky to have We honed it to a gas station down the street. Yes, yes, yes. That's and what we drank those, those Presidente <laughs> beers. So half of the crew had it and half of the crew didn't have it. Man. Man. Then Pharrell made us. Test. He made us test, but he, he made us test because we and he made us test. So we we back there. We doing the blood. The blood test. We, we doing the blood. This we doing testing. The and then this motherfucker walks in here. He don't. He want. He want to get tested. I say, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah, this was hilarious. He could have. He could have. Pharrell gave it. Gave us COVID. Oh. <laughs> no, 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 that's the minute stuff. You start crazy. Let me, let me, let me start that. Um. Okay. Now hold on. Go, going back to the Steve Harvey story. Mm -hmm. 
So you didn't know him when you knocked on his door? No. <laughs> no, I didn't. I just went up to see the motherfucker. Did you expect, like, maybe he's going to wall out on me? Just... Nah, man, I'm from D.C. I, I come in peace. <laughs> You'll know if I'm coming at war. I come to, like, hello, man. Mm-hmm. And, you know, you know, D.C. nigga knock on the door and then step back. You know right. what I mean? Yeah, give, give you that your space. Room. Yeah, give right, right. room. So I knocked on the door and stepped back and let him know it's cool. And he was, you know, was there. And I was testing because I knew it was about time for me to get out the military. And I wanted to say... Well, maybe this is an avenue I wanted to go in this comedy shit. Right. And um, he was the man. And so I wanted to talk to him because he was only the black comedian that I seen was doing white rooms back then. Right. It, it wasn't that many. And where's this at? This was down in uh, Mobile, Alabama. Mobile. He was in Mobile because I was stationed in uh, Eglin Air Force Base, which is in uh, Fort Walton Beach, Florida. Okay. Down about 50 miles outside of Pensacola. But how do you get his address? Well, I heard he was uh, performing there, <laughs> and it ain't that many motherfucking hotels. <laughs> oh, the hotel. Yeah, okay, okay. so I went by and said, you got Steve Harvey? They said, yeah, nigga, I'm 13. I said, thank you. <laughs> they gave him up. Yeah, they gave, they gave that nigga finished on that nigga. <laughs> so, yeah, I was there. I knocked on the motherfucking door, man. You got, you got to say, this is South 89. <laughs> you know, knocked on his door. He came to him, uh, and... um he was cool with it. And then he owned his own club, and I owned my own. And so we, I just started doing his club. And then when my club became the hottest club in Atlanta during the time that hip-hop was just popping in Atlanta, mm-hmm. you know, I was down that motherfucker having a good time, 91, 92. So I, I didn't even try to come out to Hollywood. So Freak so, Nick days? I was there the first week. That's all you remember, Freak Nick Gaze. Hey, Amen. Yeah. That's all he remembered. That yeah. whole thing, Freak, Freak Nick, Nick was there. Look at his face. True. <laughs> hey, man, we in Miami, we had our own Freak Nick down here. For real? I mean, a ver- I mean Luke, we, they was doing, yeah. it was Freak Nick. Out without being well, Freak Luke Nick. is the reason why I dropped that motherfucking missile, that nuclear weapon. <laughs> what? what? Yeah. <laughs> Trying to see Luke. Wait, wait. This was Luke first had them hoes. I'm 150 when he broke out. And he was torn up in Shreveport. And I told my supervisor, my boss, my first sergeant, I said, Luke will be in town Friday. Uh, I'm taking that Friday off. Right. Put it in three weeks old. Bought my ticket, nigga. I'm going to see these hoes. Because I never seen black women strip like this. I like, she was on, they was on Phil Donahue and one of the motherfuckers. Yeah, I like, I nigga, I got to see this shit. You in the military. You looking at these ugly ass women in the military. I'm like, nigga, this is terrible. <laughs> so I'm like, nigga, I'm gonna see these hoes. And do you know these motherfuckers had the audacity, the mitigated goal to tell me I had to rotate the munitions and the B 52 before I go? I like, nigga, I told you I'm gonna be off. He said, well, do that and then you can leave. Man, I went that bitch and tried to do that shit quick off the top of the dome, put that bitch up, didn't put all the grease filters in, pull that rack off. All you heard, eh, eh. Bam! Oh. Hit the ground, boom! Everybody started running and shit. <laughs> I'm like, the fuck y'all niggas running for, nigga? This a new. You was like, shit, this bitch gonna take out the whole state of Louisiana, nigga. Who the fuck you? Where you gonna run to? Who land boat? I don't give a fuck who you are, nigga. You ain't out running no nuke, nigga. I'm sitting down, this bitch covering my ass by knocking, going through the checklist, putting markers, saying I followed all the procedures and shit, making sure these niggas can't get me. I, give me that motherfucking checklist. I did. This, I did this, I did this. <laughs> nigga, the base commander came. They woke up the motherfucker president. Oh shit. Said we had a motherfucker. <laughs> Look, make you we had a the broken, We had a broken arrow and shit. <laughs> I'm sitting there and all I'm but thinking is... But you say is, the president, you ain't talking about the president of the United States. The yeah, United man, he States. dropped a nuke. He dropped a nuke. <laughs> they woke the president up, nigga. And I was, all I was thinking, I ain't gonna get to see these people. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't fucking gonna see these bitches, man. I'm just sitting there, man. Like, God. Okay. Luke calls a nuke. Yeah, man. yeah. I, me and Luke, I tell a nigga this story every time, man. I'm like, man, you call me, uh, nigga. I'm going come and sit there. And they drove me to the hospital, of course. Make sure I wasn't on no drugs or nothing. Oh, uh, shit. <laughs> Cause they would have arrested you if you had, you had drugs. Well, oh, they were court martial. Would have been, yeah. Well, they came back. Wasn't nothing but incompetence in my blood, nigga. I ain't right. give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so them niggas put me on a snack bar. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't let me touch no. Snack bar. 
<laughs> yeah, they ain't let me touch no more planes. And I couldn't you can even drop go. A crack. Yeah, you can drop a crack on. <laughs> drop on these donuts. If it, this is a true story. What? What it, if it fell? Nah, and if it no, 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 no. Okay. What, you have more chance of going off a detonation with a, co- a conventional munition okay. ever than a nuke. It's certain things uh, fail safe. Have to do it. They have to drop it. Certain altitude for it to fall, the free fall. It's a whole right. thing. But right. the fact that bitch just dropped and it was a B fifty three. It just hit. And when it hit, I swear to God, it hit my. Yeah, the bam. fact that you know what it is. Yeah, it don't yeah everybody don't know. They just start running, and I was like, oh fuck. Yeah. All the Amalams came and trucks and everything, and they woke everybody up. They checked for radiation or anything? Well, they sit down and did all that, but they immediately put me and my crew in the back of the motherfucking van, and we had to go get debriefed, and they took it over there to test to make sure we weren't on no drugs or anything, and then immediately took away our our top secret clearance (laughs) and put me out passing out hot chocolate and donuts. Oh, because of Luke dancing. Yeah, I'm <laughs> fucking with Luke in them hoes. God damn. That ain't good for you. That's amazing. God, no, People man. try to make me feel bad. I'm like, ah, oh, you passing out donuts. I say, hey, man. <laughs> E5 get the same money as load missiles as passing out motherfucking donuts. Oh, wow. So if the check ain't fuck up, I'll pass out donuts. <laughs> Give a fuck. But yeah, man, it was it was it was a beautiful thing. But that's me and Luke shit. I talked to Lou about it, man. Yeah. Before we do quick time with slime, yeah. I, oh, comedians always have this one night where they had a terrible night where they yes. bombed. Do you remember the first time you bombed, or have you ever bombed? I have never bombed. Okay, but I have been frightened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what does that exactly mean? Well, frightened is nigga, you ain't gonna get a chance to boo me. <laughs> Getting the fuck up out of here. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you abandoned shit. Yeah, nigga. See y'all niggas later. You won't get the. You won't get the benefit of doing me, nigga. <laughs> what happened? Uh, uh, Apollo Theater. Apollo, holy yeah, shit. New York yeah, City, that that. Gotta York be New York. City. Uh, I heard my fucker call. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> <laughs> Got the fuck up out of there. Yeah, but no, um, that's why I don't write long jokes. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? I, I I look at my shit like Aaron Pry. Just keep hitting at you, throwing, throwing to the bell ring when the time is up. You right. know what I mean? Um, no, I've I didn't had all right shows, but ever just bomb, bomb. Nah. Not like some of these motherfuckers I seen. Ooh. Roll, oh. I'd be like, nigga, tap out. You can leave. <laughs> Some of them motherfuckers stay up there and take it. My pride can't take that. You know, I'm right. proud for motherfucker. That's why my name is Earthquake. Right. Cause I only named myself Earthquake just in case this shit didn't work. Yeah. You know what heard, you yeah. heard you say that. Heard you say that. You ain't fuck up your name. No, I ain't you ain't gonna fuck up the name. Daniel, right? No, I ain't fucking my name in. So if this shit don't work, motherfucker, like, what's up, Earthquake? I don't know that nigga. My name Nathaniel. Right. Yeah, that kind of shit. You know what I mean? Right. So I run that way. So I, I didn't have too much faith. Like I said, I, I just took the shit as it came. Right. You know what I mean? We doing um, like yeah, yeah. But uh, before we did that, because uh, what do you feel about like, Instagram comedians, right? Because uh, one time we had Mike Epps here, and one of the Instagram comedians oh, came yeah. here, and it was like Mike just tore his ass up, like. I mean, like I don't think he did it because he's an Instagram. I think he did I it. Think he just, I think I think Mike. He was like was, hazing him because he was just yes, an up and I think he was like, "You an Instagram comedian? And I'm gonna show you what a comedian is in real life." Mm. And he kind of fried the guy. He told him he he said you was almost a midget. <laughs> <laughs> so you halfway there, and um, but I, 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 mind you, I, I could be looking at this in, in a different way. But I looked at it like Mike was teaching him, like, "Listen, we we're real comedians. You're an Instagram comedian," and he kind of tossed him. Do you feel like? These Instagram communities, they, they get millions of followers, but then they'll get on stage, and it's not like that. Well, I tell Instagram comedians all the time, it ain't how many followers you got, it's how many comedians can you follow. Mm-hmm. Until you can get up at that motherfucker and go behind four comedians, a fashion show, their little niece singing. <laughs> <laughs> Show started two hours late. Right. <laughs> you ain't a comic. You right. understand yeah. what I'm saying? Right. So I have no problem with the process of getting your popularity through Instagram. Right. But that ain't the requirement to be a comedian. Right. Because you don't have instant critique. 
That's right. what live comedian is. I could say that joke, and you instantly tell me that shit wasn't working. Mm. Right. You don't get that as a as an Instagram comedian. Right. You, you hide behind and dropping it off here with skits. That's how ain't how we get down. Right. Now you can use that to to leverage or promote who you are, but that doesn't. That does not make you one of us. And some of the older G's take it personally because they feel that they haven't paid, paid their dues, paid their dues right. Right. or went through the process to be this what's called a comedian. Right. And I have no problem with that. Whatever way you can do it, get it. But you still have to jump on that stage right. and be able to tell that joke. Right. And um, ain't nothing like being on that motherfucker. You know how long a minute is right. when your ass is on that stage right. and that joke really? ain't funny. Right. A minute is a long motherfucking yeah, time. Yeah, it is. It's a long motherfucking time. See, y'all got dancers. <laughs> y'all got let the DJ play. <laughs> you understand? Right, right, right. Y'all can go ahead and you don't like your song, play another nigga song. Yeah. <laughs> play his beat. Nah, comic, man. We up that bitch, us by ourselves. Yep. They don't want to hear our audience. best hit. They don't yeah. want to hear none of that shit. Want to hear newers. You got to touch these moms. And we need their undivided attention. How about hecklers? Uh, I have no problem with them. You, I go to. How practice. do you handle them? Do you handle them? Oh, I handle them very well. You understand? <laughs> I told them the money pays the same. You either can watch the show or the be the show. Mm. I get paid the same. Mm. <laughs> I get paid the same. You watch the show, show or be, be the, the show. show. That's hard. You understand? That is hard. You watch the show or be the show. <laughs> Only one nigga leaving here with that check. <laughs> right, right. Remember what Bert was telling us about the hecklers? I forgot. In Miami? Who remembers that crazy? Oh, 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 oh. The guy taking out his pants and shit? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. It got I weird. ain't never had no wild shit like <laughs> yeah. that. Nigga yeah. taking his pants down. Yeah. This motherfucker got some strange thoughts about <laughs> teaching him. He won't put his dick out. <laughs> yeah. it, was so, a, it was a wild, yeah. it was a wild heckler story. Yeah, yeah, that motherfucker had some thoughts. <laughs> he just came under the bump of a heckler. <laughs> he had some other thoughts. <laughs> you ready? You want to explain the game? Yeah. We're going to give you two options. You pick one, and we good if you say both or neither. We we all taking a shot. But we take the shot with you. Yeah, we, we all, all take. We, we don't leave you out there. Right. Yeah. Jamie, you got the habiki. You ain't, you ain't got the habiki. Yeah. All right, go ahead. All right. So the AC popping too? Yeah. <laughs> I don't feel it neither. I feel it. I feel the AC a little bit. A little bit. Yeah. But they gotta act like this is Miami. Cause it's hot as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. Um. Can you get the habiki and uh. And I think he's gonna do shots of vodka, right? Boom. You want me to go first? You do shots of vodka? Yeah. I'd okay. Say. Okay. It's the guy. Dave Chappelle or Chris Rock? Ooh. And what's my choices again? Dave Chappelle. You could say both. <laughs> if you say both, or neither, and we drinking, or you say one, and then you could explain if you want, or you don't have to yes. explain. I gotta say both. You gotta say both. All right. Let's get that hit, Mickey. Nah. I wanted you to say both too. I wanted you to say both too. I gotta say both. Right. And you got personal relationships with both, right? Yes, both obviously. Of them. With Dave. Yes, I had Chris at my club too. Okay. Yeah, both Chris with friends too. Did you hit up Chris after the smack? Uh, I was when we went. We did a European tour together. After? And, yes. Wow. Okay. And I was with him. Me, matter of fact, me, him, Dave were together. He took me to Europe and. Um, <laughs> Certain shit, me personally, you just don't joke about. And right. he's my friend, so right. I let him live off of it. But one thing I love what he said is, you know, he said he'll never be on TV talking about because he's no victim. Right. And so he, he's not that. Do you big, think so. do you think that was even his special? What you mean? Like, did he get, did you, you know, he, he he went at Will Smith on in the, in the special. Do you think that made them even, the, the, the Fuck smack? no, you hit no? me. <laughs> special me, most of the part of it, it'll never be even because you assaulted me. Because I heard you and, say you was going to sue everybody if that would have been you. I, well, I would have sued them, but I would have caught them somewhere. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you understand? I would have caught them somewhere. I, very, I, I would have caught them that. somewhere. Right. You know what I mean? Somewhere. Right. You know what I mean? The bathroom. Right. You know, we at the same event. He go in the bathroom, I go in the bathroom. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Will, you gonna, you, you gonna challenge Will? Hey man, you cannot lift weights on your chin. You can fuck what you chin 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 You can down. have all the muscles you want. Ain't no chin workout. Ain't no chin workouts. Uh -huh. Let me see how good you your chin is. Uh -huh. And then if y'all can, you can take this motherfucking heat I put.
put on your chin, then you that nigga. <laughs> but you, we gonna have to see though. Your muscles ain't gonna deter me. Uh, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. We'll, no. just, we'll owe the, the shots. We'll just keep going. Uh, yeah, okay. so we, we owe, owe, owe one shot we owe so shot. far. Okay. okay, Eddie Murphy or Richard Pryor? Andy. You wanna explain why? You don't have to. <laughs> Andy is the most talented person I have ever met in my life. Salute. I mean, salute. Cheers. Cheers. Um, I met Richard Pryor later, but I know Eddie. Eddie is, I mean. But you met Richard Pryor? Yeah. Really? He, didn't, he didn't know I was, he didn't know me. He didn't know who he was. But oh, I, oh, shit. Like, it's that, that, that phase. It's, it's that phase. It was Pryor. cocaine, Richard Pryor. No, no, no we older, older, older. Okay, no, God, not, we could have hung. Not cocaine, which no, no, not no. cocaine. Um, oh. He had Parkinson's? Uh, multiple oh. sclerosis. Oh, 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 oh okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I wanted yeah. to meet co cocaine, Richard. Yeah, I wanted yeah. to, too. We could have parked. Yeah. Like, I want to meet drug yeah. addict Eminem. Yeah. Oh, I didn't know <laughs> I'm he was sorry. a party motherfucker. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, but Eddie. Eddie could play his mind. He can remember everything. He know my real name. And I ain't give it to him. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> really, you know, this is before Google. Yeah, yeah, yes, before Google, know everything, know every comedian, just a a sort. He's a bad boy and play instruments, yeah. sing, drop shit, totally. And you can look at any of his work now, and it's still first forty eight hours, all this shit. So oh, I'm yeah, over, it's still great. Yeah, yeah. This shit off of it. Superstar, Tupac or DMX. Biggie. <laughs> mm, so he's saying both. No, neither. He's saying okay, neither. Okay, go ahead and get Tupac yeah. or what? Tupac or DMX? I know D, rest in peace. Rest in peace, both. I have to go ahead and say both. Both? Yeah. We can do another shot, Jamie. Yeah, both. Just put a couple out. Yeah, put it both. Got to, both. I like this next one. You want to do it? Yeah. All right, go ahead. Steve Harvey or Cedric? Thank you. Cedric the Entertainer. Oh, both. <laughs> oh, we got two shots too. Yeah, you got it. Took, yeah. God damn it, I'll let's do it. The gavel. Uh, we doing both. Uh, salute, salute. Una dos. Man, this mama one is getting crazier. Tiffany Haddish or some more? Some more. Jim Carrey or Rodney Dangerfield? Rodney Dangerfield. Really? Coming to America or Harlem Nights? Harlem Nights. Take that, E. Uh, Paul Mooney or Red Fox? Ooh, that's a good that's, one. That's a tough one. Red Fox. Yeah. Biggie or Big L? Biggie. In the field. <laughs> Cat Williams or D.L. Hughley? Take a shot. Take a shot. Take a shot. <laughs> Deuce. Cheers, cheers. Both. Yeah. Will Farrell or Jack Black? Will Farrell. Monique or Wanda Sykes? Mm. Monique. Wu Tang Clan or NWA? Both. I mean, I like that one. I think you, that should always be both, too. It should yeah. be both. Yeah, that should yeah, always man. be both. NWA uh, was important. Fuck the police. Yeah, fuck the police. <laughs> <laughs> just that alone, nigga, so, they deserve salute. So. Y'all crazy. That was significant. We were still marching. <laughs> yeah? Yeah, you got it. George Carlin or Robin Williams? George Carlin. Kevin Hart or Chris Tucker? Ooh. <laughs> Both. God okay, God damn it. Let's do it. Damn it, God. Salud. If you got any stories with any of these people, please. Yeah, feel free. Well, my club, we had to fire Chris Tucker. <laughs> <laughs> This before he was, y'all know Chris Tucker. This was a comedian. Come here, man. Chris came. <laughs> show starts at 7.30. Chris get there at 8.30. Right. Come on, man. I said, Chris, you can't. I got a white partner. He's fired. I said, we can't fire this. This is my man. This is Chris. Chris, you got to come on time. All right, man. All right, man. I'm going to be here. I'm going to be here quick. Do the Friday show. It was late Thursday. Do the Friday. Late again. He's fired. 
You can't inspire Chris. This is my man. Chris, you making me look bad, man. My partner wanna get rid of it. Hey man, it was then. My man, my, my girl, she get on my nerve, man. <laughs> I, I, I say, I say, Chris, Saturday they come. Chris late again. Fire him. I said, Chris, you're off the show, but I'm gonna pay you anyway. But you, you got to come on, sign. He said, I'm going to Hollywood, man. You need to come on out here with me. I said, nigga, you crazy. <laughs> I just got to Atlanta. <laughs> just got here. It's 90 motherfucking two, nigga. You've been here, living here all your life. I've been loading missiles for, <laughs> for nine years, nigga. I'm in here with all these bad motherfuckers with a club that everybody know who I am. I'm good. I done exceeded my expectations. <laughs> so he wanted me to come to L.A. with him. And he left when I and got Fridays and then that's, that's history bro. Friday then rush hour he ain't, yeah, ain't, he ain't, yeah. ain't the same since that's my man that's my love man. him that's my man I seen him uh, one day he had on Nike Adidas and Puma I said you are out of the line okay see I, I'm, I'm that nigga too <laughs> y'all kiss my ass <laughs> I ain't no walking billboard for these niggas <laughs> I'm not coordinating <laughs> with none of this shit, all this shit on. I only put this shit because my stylist said we will not put all different shit on. But when you catch me, Puma, Nike, <laughs> Marshall, Target. <laughs> you understand, nigga? <laughs> Fuck out of here. So Adidas socks, nigga. Whatever's in the top drawer. I don't owe these niggas nothing. Man, you kiss my ass. I'm looking for some socks, not who, nigga who got this name on it. Kiss my ass. Y'all rappers in here got to be all coordinating shit with all shit together. Fuck out of here with that bullshit. Walking billboards. Y'all are walking motherfucking they billboards. Yeah, they walking billboards. We don't give a fuck. Half-baked or Friday? Ooh, Friday. That was easy. Damon Wayne's or Jamie Foxx? Jamie Foxx. Fabulous or Jada Kiss? Both. Oh, damn. Shots. Salah. Salah. Shout out to my boy Alchemist in the building. Alchemist. Chappelle show or Key and Peele show? Chappelle. Yeah, that was, that was. Tracy Morgan or Mike Epps? That's a good Ooh. one. That's a good one. Shots. Shots. <laughs> Salute. Salute. God damn. I'm seeing two of you, baby. And I want both of y'all. I wasn't ready. I want both of y'all. I'm seeing two of you, baby. Just bring the real one. Charlie Murphy or Donnell Rollins? Oh, man. Shots. Shots. Oh, Just make sure you put me in my first class. <laughs> okay. In Living Color or Mad TV? Living Color. Bernie Mac or Patrice O'Neill? Bernie. Yeah, you go to go to the next two. You go to the next two. Dion Cole or D. Ray Davis? Dion. And the last one is loyalty or respect? Loyalty. Loyalty. You want to explain why? This shit ain't work this whole show. You ain't see this shit? Oh, my bad. Loyalty is the most essential part of any fucking relationship, man. Respect, for me, is fluent. I only respect you because you respect me. Right. Once you no longer respect me, I don't respect you. You don't matter to me mm. at all. So what you say don't matter. You need to say that to some motherfucker out here who gives a fuck what you think. Right. See, respect is I respect what you think. I give you that already. But once you show me no respect and no time, then I don't respect you. You don't exist. But loyalty is different. That's the person that's going to hold you down through no matter what situation it is. It doesn't... It's not fluent. It's, it's, it's steady. It's there from day one to end. Very few people are loyal. If you find loyalty, respect comes with it. Mm. It 
I have more. It can't. Those two things cannot. Sound like you're saying both to me. You understand? Take well, for that. Oh God damn it! We just want to drink. <laughs> no, damn it! I yeah, sound like you said it. both to me. <laughs> that led us all to both. That led us all to both. <laughs> okay, I'll take that. Now, me and you got something else in common. What's that? I I, I believe we both liked it, Donald Trump's uh, tax break. Of course. That was pretty gangster. It was beautiful for me and my business. <laughs> yes, 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 I'm just being honest with you. Because <laughs> yes, yes. I, I'm 50-50 with Trump. Like, sometimes I'm... changing it up. Yeah, sometimes I hate him. Right. I hate all the racist shit about him. Right. Anything racist about him. But when it comes to, like... I have broke friends when Trump was in office. My broke friends disappeared. They got money somehow. Right. They are back. Broke. <laughs> They are back. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I agree. If we gonna talk it, I agree. I, I was a Republican. You gotta understand. I'm you was a Republican. Yeah, I'm, and now I'm you're a, an independent. I'm an independent. Okay, I'm an but independent I have too. always been a, a Republican. Okay, you a Republican because because of the military background? No, because I just. Yeah, this we're is, you got to explain this. We're flawed people. There is no way you're going to help everybody's deficiency. And you can't make a fucking program to help everybody's deficiency. Prime example. Who was president you, when you was a Republican? Ooh, Ronald Reagan. He's a Reagan. Oh, you a Reagan? I'm a Reagan. Oh, Reagan. Reagan. You're a I was with Reagan. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I was with Reagan. You was selling cocaine at yeah, that time. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> well, 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 Tell them I'll vote this. for you. This is what I say. Us as the United States government gonna give you two things. Health care. Mm. <laughs> you had Obamacare. Uh -huh. You was on yeah, Obamacare. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. I'm gonna give you your health care, nigga, and I'm gonna pay for your ed education. Right. Ever than that, nigga, you're on your own. Right. Right. You're on your own. You're on your own. We're gonna educate you and we're gonna make sure you stay healthy. Right. Now feed on the land, niggas. <laughs> that's that's you as president. That's me as president. Okay. That's so everything free, free education, free, free education, and free health care, free health care. Democracy. So whatever not way it is, I'm gonna make sure it is right here. Now, if you need some help, we will do this. We will give you a based upon what, what your civic do. is duty back to the government. Right. So if your ass need a welfare check, I need you down here stopping buses when the kids go across the street right. and go to school. Community that's service. That's kind of fire. If you ain't gonna hunt, you that's ain't gonna. Fire. Come, you ain't gonna do that, nigga. Then stay over there and starve. Yeah, that's real. Mm. But if you got enough, you got to be on your feet because some nigga got you on your back. Mm. <laughs> mm. That was hard. This is that truth. So it's when so, we going for presidents? Huh? When you going for presidency? I ain't running for no president. <laughs> yeah. I'm just what I'm saying is is <coughs> certain people need help, but certain we all have flaws in. We all have things that's wrong with us in the government campaign. It's just like if you a big head, full head nigga. You're like, all right, <laughs> we gonna help all big full head ass niggas because they feeling bad about themselves. <laughs> and we gonna get this program to help big full head niggas feel better. <laughs> Instead, the government said, "Listen, nigga, see how a big full head nigga can get paid. Yes, you just happen to be a big full head ass nigga. That's how God made you. <laughs> Ain't nothing the government can do to help you." Big forehead ass nigga, you was. <laughs> but we gonna help you with education, keep you be the healthy <laughs> big forehead ass nigga and the educated big right. head forehead. You start a big head exactly. Head. Right. Agency for modeling. It. Exactly. You can't. I mean, and that's what Democrats are. They want to put a program. We gotta help this person. This person in here. So you don't like Democrats? Let's just throw that out. I mean, they both broken. No, both, both those systems are broken. I'm talking about the system of, especially as black people. You know what I mean? We but you voted for Obama. Huh? Of course. Okay, okay. All right. I wanted to make I sure. I had to vote for Barack. You had to vote for Obama. I had to. Yes. Uh, he earned it. Yes. He was the best candidate. Yes. Even if I didn't agree with a lot of his motherfuckers. Was you Republican Trump? then? Yes. He was a Republican still voted for him. I was in Obama. it. I That's voted for him. That's a real black him. nigga. That's real black Man, I voted for him. That's real right there. Voted for him twice. Yeah, yeah. I voted for so him in my mind. When that nigga said. I ain't actually going to vote the boot. What? 
I encourage everyone else to go to the voting booth. But when that nigga I'm said four hundred thousand dollars, who makes four hundred thousand dollars a year was rich? I said, hold up, nigga. That ain't rich. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let me talk to you, mm-hmm. old BC. <laughs> yeah. Put it up, yeah. So now, nah, um, I voted for him, and I would do it again. But how about um, Trump? Would you, if Trump come for 2024? I never voted. Hold on, hold on. Come on, motherfuckers. Would you vote for Trump? So in 2024. I mean, you got to, who's against him, first of all? No, I don't yet. see no way I could vote for Trump, even though I benefit from his policies. He's too <laughs> divisive in, in terms of no. I mean, he, he just don't have my best interests. Right. Right. And even if I benefit off the policy you give me, still it equals to nothing because you don't have my best interests, with right. or without money. Right. So I could not even. I celebrated the tax break. And I celebrated the shit that he was able to implement that helped me personally. Overall, nigga, I would have left all that shit on the table because your fuck ass is, you would get me if you could. You know what I mean? He he doesn't, he don't have my best interest. So, yeah, fuck him on that end. I don't see nothing I could. But you can't be feeling Sleepy Joe. I don't, I do with Sleepy Joe because... Deep, what I'm saying is, for me, the most strongest creature that I love is black woman, and he, Kamala. I have to deal with his record. He's the first man, Sleep black president. man. I'm, no, no, I'm just, see, I fuck with results. I, yeah. I'm i a result-oriented dude. Okay. I don't get caught in this shit. Okay. A lot of niggas take credit for shit they haven't done or they say they would do, but you can't do it because you ain't even achieved what it takes to be able to do it. So I'm the fuck you going to criticize. So I take Joe as it. He's the first man uh-huh. to get, make a black woman the vice president of the United States. Mm. He's the first man to appoint a fucking... Black judge. Uh, judge on the Supreme Court. That's it. He has put he more black women and black minorities, I mean minorities, in the circuit courts of the appeal courts. That on it, I have to deal with that. Mm-hmm. I'm, that right there, that's a record with me. Mm-hmm. When you had the other person who had Trump was putting everybody in this motherfucker. That was against everything that I view as my existence and everything. So, yeah, if it between him and him, and he can be sleepy. He can put the taxes <laughs> high. I'm just going to have to find a way to make more money to pay this nigga. All right. Before I fuck with a nigga that I know is hindering my growth of my people and not in, in, in assaulting my women, black women, the way he talked to Ab- Abby Phillips. Oh, I just told her on the fucking lawn. She asked him a question, and you say, that's a stupid question. And I've been watching you for a while. You've been asking stupid-ass questions. And I'm like, white wow. man, what the fuck you think you talk? You know how hard that sister had to work to get oh, on that wow. grass on the white hall lawn wow. for you to be talking to her like that? Yeah, he's mad to shit. You understand what I'm saying? So when you see that... See, he threw even toilet tissue he, at my people in Puerto Rico. Yeah, he threw yeah. toilet paper yeah. Yeah. He threw toilet, after yeah. a hurricane. He yeah. motherfuckers yeah, go... Yeah, the I mean, he's like, yeah, here you go, like, like, now dry yourself like, up. You, you should be happy now. No, like, he didn't say, want to shake their hand. <laughs> yeah, he didn't want to shake their hand. He didn't want to shake their hand. Yeah, yeah. And like, even if it benefits you personally, <laughs> you see your brothers from Puerto Rico, you're like, yeah, nah, nigga, I, t- I go ahead and fuck with Sleepy Joe, who's going to tax me more. But he is going to look out for my brother in Puerto Rico and do that. So to make the story, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with results, not the talking. Right. Talking is cheap. Ukraine is a the best thing ever happened for us, and I'm going to tell, tell you why. Yeah. Because they handle Russia, spent. right? Listen to me. Okay. I was in the military for nine years. That's a strategic air command. We practice everything against the Russians. Okay. Every day. Every money we didn't gave Ukraine, nigga, we gave that motherfucking money up training for these niggas. Wow. And we found out these niggas are paper, camp- paper champions. Right. They what that are, mean? What they is, nigga, they can't beat Ukraine. They can't fuck with us. Right. Everybody right. in the name. We've been waking up 5 o'clock in the morning working 12 hours. I was training against these niggas. Right. These motherfuckers are terrible. Right. They lied to us. Right. Y'all are not that great motherfucking military. Wow. And, uh, but they align two. with China now. And that's the part that they can line with China all you want. Uh, no, Russia but, and China. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, and the dollar, right? 
Everything, everything. The, all our, the only good thing is all our enemies are coming out. They're saying they together been in the open now. But yes. That's better. Actually, that is better. That and it's best better. to Ukraine to fight them than for you, me, our kids no, to absolutely. have to fight them. Right. I, and I all you that. doing is financing. It's definitely a proxy war. All sure. you doing is financing a war without your Big most. Big finance. <laughs> Big what? finance. And they Money say Ukraine is, a, is winning, right? Yeah, Ukraine, nigga, they shouldn't even be holding even. Wow. <laughs> they should, they, no, they really shouldn't. They shouldn't Because Ukraine's even, a small ass country. It seems like they, they, they should have lost the war technically within the first few days. First few weeks, he thought he was going to go through that bitch slap around. Hey, right, nigga, this house. Right. <laughs> Some motherfuckers was in there, but what, what did they, uh, they Dave Chappelle back. say? <laughs> Dave Chappelle said the nigga he said Ukraine over there fighting them niggas like that white boy from Home Alone. <laughs> 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 they, they said it they said, got toasters popping up hitting them in the head. And said, they got shadow. Yeah, they got shadow. Man. He said Ukraine over that nigga I'm all like that. Like that nigga. You understand? I'm, I'm you understand that's what I'm saying? Yeah, that's and right. if that's your enemy right. and your most prized uh. fucking possession is your people, right. you getting off easy having your enemy fight another motherfucker and they losing their prized possession, which is their citizen, right. and you able to just nothing but give money to it. Hmm. Especially when you're spending millions and trillions you say in training America, for the America was just You're in America all, the, all day. Yeah. You were training. I know it. We train two, three, four times a month in case it ain't come this way. And that's just the Air Force. I know what the Army is doing. Yeah. NATO Navy. is doing. Yep. Billions and billions of dollars. And these niggas are winning here for the mention and getting their ass whooped. And you sitting back there like we'll whoop their ass. Now you can really talk to them niggas. Come on, man. We the seen y'all. Other than the button that you can push to blow up everything. That's, that's the only thing I'm talking about. You understand? What? No, that's, that's well, that's always there. there. Right. That's there. Yeah. But if you know, if you push that bitch, you gone too. Yes, yeah. Right. So you that's, just wish you love your kids as much as we love ours. That's, right. that's all you can hope. That's always there. That was there no matter whatever the circumstances. Right. Right. So now you saying, nigga, you know fist to fist, nigga. You can't even beat this little nigga right here. What? <laughs> you talking about you want to talk to Tyson, nigga? We got the biggest shit. We, we over this bitch, nigga. We'll wipe y'all niggas out in two days, nigga. We got you some round hit on. How we you done, just convinced me we the We done picked two more countries to go around your, your parking lot ass, nigga. <laughs> That's what America's like, nigga. They're surprised. We really thought, nigga, you was ready. You was that nigga. And you a paper tiger. <laughs> Other than have that bomb that blow everybody up, nigga, we all know who got that. Seven <laughs> countries got that. But nigga, fighting head head, our military against your military, you can't even beat these niggas right here. Mm -hmm. Shut the fuck you, up. Your little homie, technically. Yes. Wasn't Ukraine a part of Russia? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Historically, yeah. it's a big part of Russia. Yeah, right. but they took it. Wow. Them niggas against it was the USR. Yeah, and them yeah. niggas just brought stuff and said, we don't want to be under this shit no more. And that's what he's mad about. He want to get his bitch back. That's what, um, like, uh, Putin. Yeah, he want to get his bitch back. He talks about them joining NATO. And he <laughs> he want his like, bitch back. He yeah. had all them hoes. <laughs> <laughs> he was a U.S. He hog. Want he want all his hoes back. <laughs> he said, nigga, he listen. He lost them all. He, he, he lost all his hoes over here going to school, <laughs> getting, her, getting her mind right, nigga. The bitch getting her hair fixed. This Don't nigga over there. Yo, the Yugoslavia. The yeah, analogy yeah. goes so well with yeah, that yeah, shit. Yeah, over there looking at you, K.O. Bitch, told that bitch. Put your ass over. <laughs> and we over there like you mind now. Yeah, yeah. I'm taking a that's shot all. for that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm just saying. That's what he's saying. I'm taking a shot for that. That's I'm, what sorry. He's saying. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I little. feel you it. broke that down crazy. No, he mm. over here, man. We train for him. Mm -hmm. every time, man. We gotta take a shot though, Eric. Oh, I got you. All right, yeah. <laughs> I'm watching your act. <laughs> oh man. I don't know. I used to be at a Filipino bar. Oh uh, yeah, he. he. <laughs> Put that bitch right back now. Oh, man. So let's talk about the Quake show for a second. Yes. Quake House, right? Quake House. Okay. Sirius XM. Yeah. Channel 96 on Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud Radio. Wow. Yeah, Kevin um, made me his flagship show. Uh, I bring comedians together, and we do just what y'all doing. We don't have this much liquor. <laughs> <laughs> we got some. <laughs> but comedians bringing up uh, different subjects. 
and we elaborate on hot topics, that type of thing. Right. And it's funny. I mean, it's fun. It's funny. And it's also, like I said previous, a platform for other comedians right. to um, to get a, a platform to show how funny they are. Because, see, that's how I used to sell a joke. That's what I learned from Steve, too. We used to get on the morning show and crush it. All right. And then motherfuckers just say, who was that motherfucker on the radio? We got to go see him, man. He's right. going to be at the improv tonight. Right. Mm. And then you let your jokes from the radio be so funny that it carry over to the club. And that's how I used to do it. Mm. So I try to, you know, see and give comedians a chance to get on. And it's called Quake House. Kick it in my house till you get to yours and bring comedians in there. And we have a good time and talk about serious subjects such as politics all the way down to... Your woman sleeping with your best friend. Hold up, hold up. Wait a minute. Yeah. Holy moly guacamole. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Go ahead, continue. No, really. We talk about all that. You know, what would you do if you lost your motherfucking woman to your best friend? All right. You know? Now, let me ask you, being that you guys are on Kevin Hart's mm -hmm. show, if you have jokes about Kevin Hart, do you still use it? Yeah, Kev got a sense of humor. Okay. Kev good. Right. You can't disrespect the boss. Right, right. But uh, if it's funny, you know what I mean? Kev ain't that kind. Kev is it's a real comedian. He's um, he he's a good dude, man. So, you know, I would never, ever let nobody disrespect him. But if it's a joke that's funny, no one is above a joke. Because, like, like, you know, his controversy that he had, right? You wouldn't play it like... With that, because I, I see Michael Blackson playing with him and I, like that. Yeah, but him and Michael Blackson is more than jokes. Okay. You know what I'm saying? If it's jokes, right. then it is. But we don't do no segment on it. Right. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't do that. You know, like Fox News wouldn't bring up. Right. They were sued for $787 million. Right. <laughs> they, they ain't right. talking about it. You understand? It just, that's just not it's weird. Not it is. It's not, I mean, it's not, it's just not common sense. You on his platform, just respect and loyalty. Like I said previously, you need to do that. And I can find other things that's funny, right. Right. more compelling, than have to go to that. I'm not limited to that. Right. And see, that's what I tell him is, if you don't have nothing else than that, then I get it. But if you just doing that because that's that, then nigga, you have to find another place to hang out at. Is, is, is there such thing as, as going too far with a joke? No. 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 Once it's not funny, that's what I say. Okay. You could tell when you're the only one laughing. <laughs> <laughs> then you, nigga, there ain't a joke no more. <laughs> you understand? But if everybody cracking up, <laughs> nigga, there it is. So I would say when no one is laughing but you, that's too far. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You, you should be the last one laughing at it. All right. And if everybody else dying in it, it ain't too far. All right. And they should be able to take it. I, I'm, I'm taking a shot for that. I'm sorry. Okay. You got another shot? I'm being honest. That, that, was, that, was, that, was, okay. that was great. That was great. That was great. Is there such such thing called too soon? Like no. having a Michael Jackson joke 13 minutes after he passed away? Donnell Rollins, is, we call that nigga too soon. Because he, Donnell don't give a fuck. Right. Donnell, you died at 1205, 1206, he got one for you. <laughs> <laughs> we call that nigga too soon. I, I see him use the F word on stage. He, look, Donnell Rollins, is, we call that nigga too soon. Too soon? <laughs> but that's the beautiful of our art. All right. Nigga, once you give it to it, we the third eye. Right. You understand? And if it's factual, nigga, who are you to tell us when we should talk about it? You making Don't jokes at funerals? Huh? You making jokes at funerals? I talked about Aretha Franklin. Got away oh, with yeah. It. You said, you said <laughs> she, had the, she had a marathon um, um, uh, funeral. Listen, like her man, shit, her I was shit able lasted to talk three weeks. about Aretha Franklin's funeral, shooting Trump supporters. <laughs> right. Uh, I like that, too. And saying, fuck your kids. And fuck your kids. And All everybody understands. You or Robin, you understand. Yeah. Pick a where you get at that point. It ain't harsh. Right. Right. That's where you at from that perspective. So, hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah If it's a funeral I'm gonna get it Be myself <laughs> I know what's funny And I'm gonna get you You're like <laughs> And then I have the ultimate comeback Fuck you That was funny <laughs> That's if it doesn't work? Well if you You just don't wanna laugh Right Because you feel It's inappropriate uh. Fuck you That's funny <laughs> You understand yeah. what I'm saying? You, you ever you stepped on stage though Knowing this is probably Mike could go south 
It's a possibility all of them are. <laughs> but you really don't care. Mm-hmm. You re- Once you start pandering to your audience, right. me, myself, I think you're going down the slippery road. Because you be saying things on your, in, the, in your special, like, these ain't jokes. These ain't jokes. <laughs> like, like, like yeah. you put it in a comedic, comedic sense, but your delivery is, is, is comedic, but you're, you're actually talking about real life situations. Right. Because we all feel that. I uh-huh. mean, you elaborate from the factual, and then, of course, you blow the eight, making the shit funny and going over the board on it mm. comedically. Mm. But the factual root of it is the truth. Okay. Like people have long ass funerals. Right. Like, yeah. Come on now. Right. <laughs> Let it go. He's supposed to be with Jesus. One more song. Yeah. <laughs> One more <laughs> motherfucker. She's supposed to be with Jesus. You know what I'm She's supposed to be with the Lord. <laughs> Hell, it's so long time she got to the gate. She's supposed to be with the Lord. <laughs> the angel said, "God gone." <laughs> He said the preacher. He said the, he said the, he said the, he said the preacher preached the whole Bible. From the, <laughs> the whole from the, Bible from the beginning to the end. Yes, yeah, uh, yeah. in trouble in the in beginning. The beginning. <laughs> it's a funeral. It's over. <laughs> yeah, and when you sit there, you're like, "Come on, pastor, <laughs> let it go." And to hold him that long, and you metaphorically, you take it. Actually, God waiting for you because you know what we say. He waiting for you at the pearly gates and you get there. And they even say, God, come on, because you've been down there too long. <laughs> he touch you on Thursday. It's next Thursday. <laughs> like, you, yeah, that's, you ever seen that's that funny. meme with, with like the guys walking in into heaven, but hell sound like it's popping? Right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Nobody even seen that meme. So the guy, he's like, he's like, he's walking into heaven, but he's like, damn man, hell seems like it's kind of lit. <laughs> like, what if hell is lit? Like, let's just, let's just, let's just say, what if? Would you I, take that shot? I don't know. Let I don't know. Uh, that, hey, that might be the devil. No, 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 no. We gotta feel what this nigga is. Now you, you see heaven. Oh, yeah, it's heaven. Now. Yeah, what if yeah, hell, hell down there popping? <laughs> popping, It's a little hot, but it's popping. Nigga. Hell like Club Live out this motherfucker. Yeah, it's, it's a little hot, but it's popping. What, what, what happens? What happens if hell was actually the shit to go to? This is the weirdest conversation I've ever would, had. Would you go? Though? That's the I don't know. He said, "Would you take a chance?" Yeah. I don't know Because that's your eternity <laughs> I'll take a shot Yeah, I'll take a shot I'll take a shot I'll go ahead and go in there Because I know my mom ain't in hell yeah. <laughs> Damn, you still gave me a mom I say, I, I, say I, I my mom ain't there in there yeah, yeah. Let me go in here with this mm. Oh, mm. go through that door mm. That's the door I'll take Oh, man That'd be funny, though, right? Not if, really. If, if it's if, not, just, if, if heaven is boring, you like, damn, nigga, I should have just went to hell. And you hear the music in heaven? <laughs> yeah, you hear. Like, damn, I should have went to hell. Well, being there trying to bribe an angel. <laughs> How you get out of here? <laughs> What is the next train to Georgia? You no, know, man, how you get out of here? When I was coming in there, boy, I saw that door and said, hey, how you get out of here? I think I made the wrong choice up there, all this fluffy shit. Now, what, is, now what, 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 what do you get more thrill at? Doing shows or making the material? Putting it together? Um, or, or performing the material? Performing it is when you get into that creative mode. Like I'm about to do another uh, special, special with Dave and Netflix. Uh, Netflix. Let's make, let's make some fucking noise. God yeah. yeah, we're going. To come that means the first together. one. That means the first one. Really, yeah, really, really. Walter Latham. We're coming for it and um, do it in Atlanta. Walter Latham. Or is that the guy that? I mean, on? Walter. Uh, we can drink now. Walter Latham is the dude from King of Comedy. Um, uh-huh. Stan Latham. Stan Latham. Yeah, yeah. Cause he, he's like the producer. This one. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. He produced this shot. That's the uh, guy from um, Def Comedy Jam. Yeah, Def Comedy did all of uh, Dave Chappelle's uh, special. Oh wow. Okay. Yeah, he's uh, you shooting a special. You got Stan in there, man. He. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was a pleasure. That's my man. Right. Um, shit, Stan been known since Richard Pryor. Mm. Right. Um, Red Fox stands the man. So, uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And I'm looking forward to it. Where are you going to do it this time? I'm going to do it in Atlanta. Y- yeah. That's where I started my comedy career. Atlanta. I had to do D.C. in case this shit don't work again. I can still be famous at home. Right. That's why I shot D.C. You going to do the Onyx? Fuck no. 
I'm trying to get away from them strip clubs, man. I'm rehabilitated. <laughs> if I did any in, in strip club, it'd be magic. Magic. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Forgot about Shout magic. Shout out to yeah. my, Michael Bonner. That's my friend. Matter of fact, I met um, him, the magic, when I first uh, came to Atlanta. Mm. And we've been friends since then. But yeah, I'm going to shoot it in Atlanta. Mm. In Atlanta. T talking about Atlanta, uh, the homie New Face sent a question. Okay. And he's saying uh, to ask about Spencer Neal. How'd you, how'd you pick him? Um, still shopping still. And um, I have always picked the hottest young comedians to open for me because they keep it relevant. When they get on that stage and they kill that shit, mm. you know, a lot of comedians take motherfuckers that they know is sorry to open for. Mm. Mm, to look better. No, just the comfortability. It's uncomfortable going behind funny motherfuckers every night. You got to uh -huh. work. You know what I'm saying? You would love to just leave your motherfucking house flying. Everybody love you. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got a motherfucker up there, knock, knock, man. Mm -hmm. That's we didn't want to quit. We didn't want to quit. But if you put that funny dog in front of that motherfucker, he, rah, 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 rah. Mm. you know when you land, competitor to competitor, I got to be on my shit. Right. And that helps you. Mm. You understand? So the reason why to answer his question, Spencer Neal is because he's a funny young comedian. And I know every night, you know, Bro. he's going to come and be funny. Right. So which that's going to make me, Keeps you on at the toes. minimum, maintain me and be funny, but raise my shit on up. You know what I mean? Right. And I, I have always put the funniest motherfuckers up and told them and never restricted them. Some comedian, you can't talk about this, we'll talk about that, stepping on this, stepping on that, and don't do this. Do you. Right. Do you, man. Get them. They should come seeing me and leave thinking about you. Say, mm -hmm. yeah, Quake was great, but I got to see that young motherfucker in the future. That is your objective. Mm -hmm. And that was that is your objective, and you're not offending me. By having that objective, I want that for you. Right. That's the reason why you open for me. That's the reason why I'm providing this happen, this opportunity for you. Because I'm going to be all right. Mm -hmm. No matter what you do to them motherfuckers right now, I quit going to be all right. I believe that. But it still doesn't stop me from giving you that opportunity. And that's the problem we don't have in our God damn, I'm taking a shot for that. that mentality. <laughs> A young version of you, who were the, the comedians that you looked up to that made you really laugh? Um, I don't watch a lot of comedians because I don't write. So when you don't physically write, you have to keep your shit pure because you don't want to come up with something and you heard it by hearing another motherfucker right. say it. But before right. even you writing, before even this is a career, like who made you laugh? I wasn't even into comedy like so that. So you wasn't even looking at anybody no, at all? No. Not, not your parents? My parents did, but nigga, you don't hang with my, I ain't hang with my parents. But I mean, you they wasn't I mean? funny? They, 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 they say Richard Pryor, but we right. have ten now. They never educated you on it on here. I was doing my own little different things off of it. I knew who he was, uh -huh. but I didn't indulge in what he does. Right, you wasn't so you know into I mean? it like that. Yeah, it was a part of like... It was the Richard background. Pryor, it was the background. Earth, Wind, and Fire. You uh, know, right, it was right. different shit right. of entertainment we did, but not indulge into. That nigga's a comedian, and he mm. this, this, and this. It was that's a dude tell jokes, and today we're gonna listen to music. So you didn't have a favorite comedian growing up? No, that's get crazy. out of here. No, this was like I said. This was no epiphany. This was just, and I, if I can say anything on this motherfucker ever, man. <laughs> This was just the best decision that day. Wow. Get on stage and see, can I see, see, can I do this? And, and you nothing done, better came. Not premeditated. No. Just in that moment. No. And that's what so I tell amazing. my fucker, fuck. I'm, and I don't want to fuck with people with these gold shit. Right. But live your life, nigga, and make the best decision that day. Right. And if a better one don't come the next day, stay with the one you did yesterday and keep riding it. <laughs> one foot in front you of understand? Because right. it's life. Right. You know what I mean? You, If it makes you comfortable, then it's right. Right. I, I didn't know what I was going to do, 
but I knew I was going to do something. I never imagined it would be this. Mm. I never planned this. That's why I don't take care of my family. None of them motherfuckers know. Nobody say, you just funny as a king. <laughs> Some motherfucker could have gave me some, pulled me to the side, you know, nigga, this Richard Pride, nigga, you got that kind of skill, nigga. Let me tell you, because you hear all these niggas, they got stories. My mother took me to the comedy club and stayed with me in this, and somebody, and I ain't getting none of that shit. You know what I'm saying? It was the best thing. Let me try this shit. See what's popping. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not that nigga. I'm, for some reason, don't roll with me. Even with the motherfuckers who I have showed promise in this, have not supported it. Mm. Wow. You understand? But you that two, show. You got two of the biggest dudes that got your back. Yeah. Kevin Hart and Dave Chappelle. And that's just fucking yeah. That is fucking dope. That is, we taking a shot taking for Kevin Hart and Dave Chappelle, goddamn. Yes. Salud. Salud. Our niggas. Mm-hmm. They told me y'all be having niggas in here testify. Mm-hmm. <laughs> this is how many shots we took, though. This is how many shots we took. Yeah, yeah. Watch it. Yeah. Screw you now. <laughs> <laughs> and they all fine. <laughs> now, have you ever been in a situation where, like, the first five minutes of the show, people wasn't giving you that reaction, and you like had to you had to turn it up or turn it around? It all depends on where I'm at. Okay. Like, if it's a club, I like we on tour now. It's called Straight Jokes. You with Darnell Rollins? Nah, it's uh, me, Cedric the Entertainer, D.L. Wow. Hughley, mm. Mike Epps, wow. and D.C. Young Fly. Wow. wow, that's a great lineup. We was, yeah, we was just in Tampa last night. Whoa. I have to tell y'all, this is the first interview I ever flew in just to do an interview. Come on, goddamn. Make sure. Man, I appreciate you for that. <laughs> y'all are the hottest. Right. We, we, so you're not performing out here tonight? No. We I flew in next. here. We, um, we in your hometown. New York City. Um, in the Barclay okay. of Friday. Damn. Then we doing Friday. Friday St. Louis. I'm going to catch one Sunday. of these show dates. Yeah, we, um, this is the last Make sure week you of catch, this one. Catch where the dates is at. I'm going yeah. to fly out. I'm going to yeah, fly out. Yeah, we um, it's, man, said it's so fucking funny. Cedric in a time. Yeah. Cedric, DL, you got to watch DC Young Fly. Nah, it's a brother that came through the social media. He was kind of no, like he, an Instagram he's comedian. Fun, no, he, fun, but no, but he got he, the respect of y'all, though. Because he's putting the work in. He's though. putting the work in. He could have made... DC Young Fly. He is out here fucking with... We did about 30 dates, and he out here with us. Wow. And he took the shit so he could see how the OGs do it, and he he's blowing it away. That's and then Mike wow. Epps. Well, of course. Mike Epps. Is you got Mike. Mike. Epps. Yes. You got Mike. You got DL. You got Sid, and you got me. And... um. We'll be in your hometown, New York. Damn, and, I wish uh, I could. I'll be in Atlanta. St. Louis. Right. And uh, it's going to end, uh, this is the last week of the tour, straight jokes. Oh, fuck, we I hope chase I can the catch and, But we're picking it back up in November oh. and December. Okay. And gotta coming back Miami. out. Yeah, y'all got to come see us. We'll bring Luke and the dancers. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I went. Nuclear weapon again. Yeah, I went to Luke. He the law. He, got, he used to have 150 hoes. <laughs> He's down to 149 and a half. <laughs> I said, what are these bad bitches and a, half? and a half. It was a half a bitch that was fine. <laughs> I said, nigga, I dropped a bomb for you, nigga. I was in that bitch, was in there mad in the motherfucker. This is what you got, nigga. Now, now, I've met people that disappointed me. Mm-hmm. Like, I've met them, and I thought they was a certain person. Have you ever met somebody who you <laughs> thought, uh, like, you're you already smiling. Look, look, you were, have you ever met somebody that just disappointed you? You was just like, fuck. <laughs> yeah, but we good now. Okay. now really... But who was it? Tell us. No, nah, we good, man. <laughs> no, nah, we, we talked about it. Um, okay. What happened? This... <laughs> I just thought we was friends. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you thought a motherfucker knew you, but he don't know you. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because you meet, I, I, you know, it's, you know, because in this business, and I tell this to my girl, you know, the occupational hazard of this business is when you walk out your door, you are your fans' property. Yes. Mm. Motherfuckers. You their brand. You, you their that's brand. it. You can't get mad at the people that provide us the standard of living okay. that you benefit from, baby. Uh-huh. You have to understand the reason why you're driving this is because of that person. 
And I have not, I've always told myself when I do not want to deal with them, I don't go out. Mm-hmm. That's real shit. I, I, said owe, that, I, said that all the time. I, I owe them that. Yeah. Right. I don't want to put up with you. You want to take a picture? You don't want to take ass a, in the house. my ass in the yeah. house. That's true. And yeah, because I didn't have plans with my one minute talent. We supposed to go somewhere. I'm like, I'm not feeling it because right. I don't want to deal with it, what it costs for me being out on it. I don't have that pace. And she understand that. You have to find that. That being said. <laughs> yeah. You Who'd sir? you meet? Who'd you meet? Come on, tell me. No, man, I can't tell you. Right, cool, tell me the story. Don't tell me the story. Leave out yeah, the person. I tell the story. All right, cool. But no, nah, we're good because he called and shit is what it is. Okay. <laughs> so I'm over in Europe performing with Dave Chappelle and Chris Rock. God damn it. Light floss. I like yes, it. Yes, nigga. We, we, we. Oh. It's the highlight, nigga. I'm European. I'm international. Mm-hmm. So I'm feeling good. I'm in the back. So he comes in and I see him. And, you know, I admire his work. I come to him and the nigga, you know, I don't never assume that a nigga knows me. But he's like, Quake, you my man. You're the funniest motherfucker. I said, oh, shit, nigga. I'm flattered that this nigga know me, man. I'm like, yo. Oh. i like, yo, man, you gonna take a picture with me? He's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell him you my man. Move on. We're cool. Like, boom. Switch numbers and everything, right? So I'm in L.A. at the crib, and a friend of mine know that I told him the same story I told y'all. He said, your man is here. I said, my man is here. He said, yeah, he over the pond. He flew over here. I said, all right, boom. I'm going to come up there and tell this nigga hi. You know, welcome to the country. I think You know, you in L.A., you need anything. I come in there, come back in there, walk in the back of the hey, man, what's up, your dude? That nigga looked at me like I was short. Like, <laughs> I was short. <laughs> like I was short. <laughs> so his man, who was his role man, said, uh, um, you must know somebody, huh? I said, yeah. He said, yeah, you must know somebody, because now nobody supposed to be back here. <laughs> All right. Uh, Michael Blackspin, no? No, uh, no, 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 not Mike. So we sit there. He said, no, nah, nobody I'm supposed to be. I said, oh, man, I just came back to say hello Someone in to London. my man. <laughs> so I said, say my man. So not I'm Ricky thinking, Gervais. I say to him, I say to him, <laughs> I say, my name is Earthquake. I just want to say hello to my man. So is that a man and say, I know who you are. I said, oh. <laughs> Ricky Gervais. My fault. <laughs> Sorry for coming in on your side. I just want to say hello to my man. Boom, I left out. I said, oh. <laughs> we don't feel the same motherfucking way. <laughs> now, for the record, he calls me. And he said, hey, man. My fault, Quake. I didn't da-da-da. I did this, that. Accept it. We good, long. We good people. Ricky Gervais. Yeah, no. No, I, hey, I think I know what. Yeah, because I say, I mean, and nigga, <laughs> I was like, okay, <laughs> them overseas comedians, man. No, I mean, no, he a star. He ain't a comedian. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah, he a star. London, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He recently was in in doing a bunch of stuff over here. Yeah, yeah, he a star. Who? And no, nah, but we good. We one hundred. <laughs> we one hundred. Yeah, no, nah, we it. 100. You want to say it, man. Let's just no, say it. Say it. <laughs> see if he agree. Say it. See if he agree. <laughs> them rappers always want <laughs> free shit. Don't they? Them, niggas, them niggas don't respect the boundaries for shit, nigga. We already say it. Just tell me the story. You ain't got to say who it is. See, that's how they get you. You know what I'm saying? I got now, you. the niggas say it. Just tell the story. We ain't got it. Who it is. Now, he wants you to tell it. That's you to figure it out. No, stay strong, man. You don't got to thank me, man. Thank you. Thank you. Salute. I'll take a drink on that. I'll take a drink on that too. You wrong, nigga. You wrong, nigga. Now, is is performing therapeutic for you? Yes. Definitely when I went through my divorce. Aegis Elba? Oh, worse. No, I'm talking about um the guy. <laughs> He's trying to figure out the person. Oh. <laughs> My bad. See, I'm overlooking that nigga. <laughs> uh, gave that nigga no look pad. Uh, worse. Nah, uh, nah. Therapy? What's Idris? <laughs> man, Idris is 100. Yeah. Idris wouldn't do that to me. When I seen Idris speak 
London. They just wouldn't do that. I too. was hurt. I thought he was from the wire. Speak London? No. I thought he was from the Wait, wire. Why did you hear him speak? <laughs> 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 I heard him speak London. Idris is the smoothest nigga in I the world. I was mad dude. as shit. I was like, yo, that's that new shit. What's his name from the wire? What's yeah, his, that nigga. Uh, Bell, Bell. <laughs> so, he's nigga. speaking the Queen's English. <laughs> I know a lot of niggas. Glad that nigga got married. Got his name off the list, nigga. Yeah. That nigga is the smoothest. <laughs> nah, boy. Idris wouldn't do that to me. Yeah, well, yeah but, no, the wire was ill. But um, is, is comedy therapeutic for you? Very much so. Okay. They helped me through a lot of shit. Right. They helped me through everything. The death right. of my mother, my divorce. Uh, you can say why you lose my club, court, right? Yeah, my wife did a lot of shit. The first session I heard she say, he don't pay his taxes. Yeah, she did. But she helped me by doing that, though. Okay, because then you paid your taxes. Because, nigga, I had to go there and see on the side. <laughs> yeah, one-on-one. And I'm <laughs> I'm straight now. Mm-hmm. I'm in a plant. That's what they say. Mm-hmm. We're good. Mm-hmm. So, no, she helped me. By that. But, uh, yeah, it's therapeutic for me because I'm able to articulate that point of view. Releasing stuff too On the stage And motherfuckers Resonate with that Because they're going Through it too Because You know We have our Point of view too Some people have Unrealistic expectations And you need to Be able to articulate That in a Comedic form And I'm able to do that And And it It gets it off my chest That I can Get paid for it Instead of laying on a couch Paying a nigga for it and that's how I look at it. Okay, it says, how do you get, how did you get back here? Earthquake says, get out star actor Daniel. <laughs> <laughs> you just won't let it go. <laughs> no, someone just said this to me. you ask Chad GPT that shit? No, no, no. Sonny DBG is trying to do, do wow. his job. He, he threw He's you under the bus. He's trying to do his job. My man fucking snitched on you. He's like, okay, yeah. all right, all right, all right. Yeah, but we good. That's my man. <laughs> we good. <laughs> we good. But okay. he got me. Okay. Get, he got me, but get out, we good. came out. Not yet. He told you get, get out. out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, damn. But he's my man. Yeah, you foul, man. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I like know. that metaphor. Yeah, he's I'm my sorry. man. He's a man. Though. Yeah, he's my man. He was always my man. I wasn't his man. But okay. I, was, <laughs> I was always. So let me ask mine. you, right? One time, I say I say his name if I have to, but um, <laughs> I, I was in I was in uh, Oakland, but I was doing a reggae throne show. Okay. And what's ironic about it, it was a reggaeton artist that said, I'm not going on after Nori. Because he thought I was bigger than him because of America. Right. So he said, I'm not going on after Nori. I got to go on before Nori. I know comedians don't want to go on after you. Is that a problem for you? No. (laughs) I mean... Get it done? Because you can go on any any, any time of the night, or you prefer to be the closer? Um... No, man. I mean, like, again, it's subjective. A show should be laid a certain way. Certain people you shouldn't put behind certain people because it's a flow of show. It's like music. Mm-hmm. You want to raise the show to a level, and certain people can't follow that. It's like a set right. set list. If I'm in a, 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 a with five or diff, six comedians, I'm not trying to be Michael Jackson. Right. Because my mentality is between the five of us, you got your money's worth. Mm. If you value the money, I'm the value, the principle of laughter. Mm. You know what I mean? I know you're going to laugh. Right. So you paid $100, $150, whatever your ticket was, you got $150 worth mm. if it came to laughing with the five people we got on here. Mm-hmm. So it's back. Now, when I'm headlining, I'm the last motherfucker, it is my job. To take it to the next level mm. because I'm last. Mm. Right. That's that's just my job. Mm. But if I'm first or second, nigga, I <laughs> you lose Throw that bitch over the back. <laughs> Cause the anchor gotta take this shit up. That's his job. They gotta close it. He got to close it. Right. You understand? You He's be loose being compensated it. for. Right. Right. I'm not being compensated as the closer. Yeah. So when you the closer, you you going there with a different motherfucking set. I have to take this shit to a higher level than all the people that went before me. All right. It's just that simple. You prefer to be the closer? Or you don't really care? If the money right, quake there at night. Right. So, 
<laughs> I host it. I go first. I go second. I go third. I close this motherfucker. But the price is the price. He plays all roles. If the price say I go first, then the price say I go first. I have no problem with it. The price say last, then it's last. Because it's... See... I don't need all that bannery shit because at the end of the day, it's about who's funny. That's why I say, you watch my special. Yes. If we're talking about funny niggas, right. put funny up. Mm. Yes. You understand? Don't 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 judge me. You know the cutest nigga, the nigga that this or this. If they are making their money and holding the banner as the funniest nigga, where's they work? Mm. See, I believe in the work. Mm -hmm. My work speaks for itself. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. And eventually, it will get to where it needs. And if it don't, my peers know. Man, that's and that's all I need. I don't it. live above my means, nigga. Mm. <laughs> Neither me or my woman. We don't live beyond our means. So I ain't going to be on no unsung. <laughs> right. That's a motivation speech like a motherfucker. Take a shot. That was a motivation speech like a motherfucker. I ain't gonna be on no unsung. Salute. So I'm just gonna keep on putting the work out. We gonna take that shot. Too. Yeah, I see you. Man. <laughs> he gonna, he's throwing that party in hell later. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm do mine. Yes. I'm gonna do it. You see what I'm yes. saying? I'm gonna just keep putting the work out and put it in. That's why my next special. What's it called? The Pulitzer. Mm. Pulitzer. The pol <laughs> the Pulitzer. Pulitzer. Yes. Not the Pulitzer. The Pulitzer. <laughs> <laughs> you fucked up. <No>. Polygamy. <laughs> the Pulitzer. Pulitzer. The Pulitzer. Yeah, that's the best literature. Yeah. Just being the best book ever. Right. Of the year. And that's lyrically molesting the shit called comedy. Lyrically I'm put molesting. put that on. I made my first special called Legendary just to put the pressure on myself to... Meet up to Be that legendary. expectation because if it wasn't legendary, my peers would have talked about me. This nigga should have named that shit Booty. <laughs> <laughs> but can we? Because the only my only complaint about the the beautiful special that you made, my only complaint was it was too short. No, no I was gonna not. say the same thing. But no. but but that's a compliment. I realize, actually, no one goes above a, a hour on a Netflix special. Remember HBO specials used to be an hour and a half, two hours. Is is Netflix? Is that the deal? It's like it has to be an no. hour. No, he said no, earlier. That I he's, set this standards. Yeah. Okay. I don't need an hour. Yeah. Oh, wow. If it's about jokes, put them niggas whole hour up. They ain't got 37 minutes of jokes. It's true. Of a lot laughter. of these specials, you fall asleep I gave watching them. You, this is non motherfucking concentrated, nigga. Sneaky. This is straight I, through. Sneaky. You understand? <laughs> Fuck all that other bullshit. I don't need to give you no hour. <laughs> these niggas giving you an hour of bullshit. bullshit. Now, it's true. I'm not saying bullshit. No, I'm not just. <laughs> no, a lot of it is not, bullshit. A lot of it is bullshit. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not saying this. Look, you but if, feel it's true. Right it's now. true. No, no. no. We've been saying it for you. No, we say, I've been no. trying to watch these special What I'm trying asleep. to say, if we're talking about jokes, <laughs> laughter. Yes. That's the, the objective of the job. That's why it's called comedy special. It should be special. Woo. Mm. Long gated, long time without not a laugh, nigga. It's wrong. Mm -hmm. Just for the sake of filling the time. Mm -hmm. Right. Give you 37 of it. Keep coming, nigga. Keep seven. I don't need that hour. Go do something else with your 23. Mm. I done gave you what you needed. For the laughter, what it is, I don't need an hour of your time right. to achieve the job of you laughing. It's real. Fuck this nigga for an hour, <laughs> taking up your time. <laughs> that should be the next thing. <laughs> Fuck this nigga for an hour. <laughs> it's, 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 it's ludicrous. It's fucking ludicrous. Now go do laundry, motherfucker. You understand? <laughs> no, what we're talking about. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm 37. <laughs> Hot. <laughs> go on, get what you need and go on, leave with it. You understand what I'm saying? I, that's just my preference. That's like just what we, we watched. They the brought that to me. We watched the whole special on the ride here. That's, 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 that's. Get it to you. You laughed. You had a good time. I fulfilled that. Yeah, I don't need an hour of your time for you to get it all out. It's great. It's great. It, it leaves you wanting more. That's 100%. Yes, and I got mm -hmm. another 37 for you. But <laughs> I don't need to say you are. Mm. Just give us 38 next time. No. <laughs> that was like I, I, 59. That's like no. 50. Well, hold on, I just watched it. No. Oh. 59 out the crust. No, because you already accepted that nigga for an hour. Mm. Quantity. Yeah. 
Look, it is. Return. I got quality. It's fact. If you're going to take the quantity, that's on you. I'm selling quanti- quality. And the quality, what I do, only takes 37 minutes. You can see the time on it right there. Yeah, I don't know why it's not pulling about, 37 about. minutes. Is it? And that's no disrespect to a nigga with an hour. 30, yo, 30, yeah. But a lot, most of these hours is. Yo, I, thought it was 59. I thought it was 59 minutes. No, it was 37. Oh, okay, nah, man. I don't do nothing but 37, man. 37. Yeah, and got and fulfills you. Yes, I'm no. Not, I, yeah. I thought it was It's, 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 four course it's meal. relatable. Four course meal, nigga. All right. And we said we're doing the next one in Atlanta. In Atlanta. Lemon pepper wings everywhere. Please. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please. I asked for it. I don't ask for much. And you live in California now? Yes. Some taxes is real. As a month. Yeah, for you being a Republican, ex Republican. I'm, I'm taking it, but I told you, niggas. I, <laughs> this motherfucker don't love us. <laughs> he love me for where I'm at, <laughs> but he don't love us. And yeah. California is ridiculous. Because the tax shit is crazy over there. I mean, it's so fucking ridiculous. Isn't it's, it? Isn't it hard? Go ahead. Oh. It's so that think everything is so fucking twenty five dollar omelet, nigga. <laughs> what kind of eggs you got, nigga? <laughs> <laughs> You know what I'm saying? They got the golden goose. What the fuck you talking about, nigga? <laughs> Wait, at the Four Seasons? Uh, no, nigga. Okay, regular? At, at the Waffle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't put the place out. Man. I just stopped that Waffle. But, uh, yeah, they got another name with them. Man. I ain't going to fuck them up. But, uh, yeah, $25, nigga. <laughs> Taters. <laughs> it's a of yeah, nigga. Slice of toast. That's what you get, nigga. Fresh juice, nine dollars, nigga. So it's it's, it's you got to make that money out there, player. So, so you're not a vegan? Fuck no. <laughs> I mean, but I'm I'm chicken and fish. Huh? Red meat at a long. I mean, at a low, nigga. Prostate good, fucking colon good. Now I'm going to check the heart out and take my body to shop like it's my car, nigga. All right. I ain't going to lie. Your prostate story is very, very funny, but it's yeah. very, very real. It's real. Oh, That's what real. I love about your, your, your comedy is you can take a real situation and make it funny, but it's still a real situation. Because it's the truth, man. Uh-huh. It's, Did your doctor call you after seeing a special? Yeah. <laughs> it was like, that was funny as shit. I say, listen here, you big thumb nigga. <laughs> your, your hours are five, nine to five, nigga. Don't you call here. Six thirty, nigga. Talk no joke. Yeah, but he, um, he's my man, you know, because he told me some shit. Man to man. See, I'm from D.C. When a motherfucker give you facts, you have to deal with it. Because I had, like, spots on my motherfucking colon. Mm. And I wasn't getting it checked like I supposed to. He said, you can play this game if you want to, but it's your colon, not mine. I'm like, mm. god damn. Black doctor? No. White? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. What kind of white? Jewish. Jewish? Yeah, kind Dr. Stein. Shout out to you. Dr. Stein. 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 That's Stein. Whenever, whenever you got a Stein in your name, you know you know you connected. Yeah, well. Yes, you are connected. Uh, he, 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 was, he was exactly what needed to be talked to. Mm. Ever since then, this big thumb nigga has been in my life. <laughs> <laughs> and in your asshole, too. <laughs> yeah. He's been in there. He ain't want to make no noise with that at all. Nah, nigga, fuck that. <laughs> we ain't no never. We ain't making no noise for Never yeah. cheer about a nigga in my ass. Nigga. I don't know what kind of shit you running. <laughs> that's, that's a different show. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. But nah, it was important. And uh, uh-huh. he, he he made me see it. Uh-huh. Like all he was saying from Streetwise. It's your life, motherfucker. If you don't give a fuck about it, I don't give a fuck about it. Uh, mm. But I'm here if you do. I'm like, all right. Because every year for your birthday, you get a physical. Physical and everything on it, man. I got dermatologists, urologists. I got all them niggas. Now. All, all, just... all of them niggas. <laughs> take care of this, man. I mean, and I try to tell my people this. The least they can do is take care of us. Right. Even if you ain't got no health care, fuck a motherfucking medical bill. I'm going to see somebody. Right. You ain't just going to keep me. You ain't going to put all this shit up. Urgent cares, hospitals, 
all this new technology to help people to live, nigga. And I ain't going to take advantage of it. If anybody deserved this new technology, it's us. Ungrateful bastards. Did they, um, dead Obamacare once Obama got out of office? No. No. They ain't never cared. They can't stop it because I still got it. all still the motherfuckers, yeah, because all the people. You ain't tell me you got Obamacare. I ain't think I had to tell you that. <laughs> <laughs> That's something you're supposed to share. So they got me, you're supposed to share. Yeah. 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 What do you want a lot? Got? Yeah. I don't got shit. Yeah. Oh, shit. Come yeah. on. I got money. You got something, dog. I got that <laughs> Actus Deals insurance. I just joined. So I was that Actus the SAG yeah, insurance. I just joined. Oh, oh that SAG insurance. I got yeah. Shout out. Stay strong, you striper. You striper. Oh, oh, the yeah, writers. The writers, the writers gonna take this yeah. shot, though, sir. Oh, the writers okay, strike. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, what the fuck is up with this writer strike? What, what, I know, you know, what, I got. I'm gonna have a TV show as soon as these motherfuckers come off strike. I mean, they gotta be careful. This AI is writing shit. Every time it's my turn, something come up. I'm a dude's not getting. I swear, there's always some fuck in the game when it's when they get to the ease, nigga. Yeah. Nigga, my shit was about to drop. These niggas went on strike. <laughs> Are you sick, huh? I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a TV show, man. Okay. Yeah, man. ABC. Um, well, you I don't know if it's gonna ABC. be. A, yeah, I had a, a, a deal with CBS, but oh, good. that didn't work. But this new one right here was perfect, nigga. I'm talking about everything right. I had a lot of deals, but this motherfucker was ready. And as soon as we about to announce that these niggas got on the picket line. And they, they want to march. And you they want to march like Selma now. I'm over this motherfucker like a civil rights leader with yeah. a donut shop. Yeah. You know what I mean? White people eat these motherfucking glazed donuts. Right. <laughs> and they on strike. And they on strike. Yeah, strike like a motherfucker. But right I now. feel them. Because what are they not getting? Well, they want money from what I heard. You know, I don't know the, all the issues. What do they want? They want, um, they want more money residual. for residuals yeah. from... Um, the streaming shit like Netflix and the rest of it. You know and what I mean? And that's what the union's shit, for. Fucking too, too. rappers should go on strike then. I mean, you gotta unionize. Rappers go on strike? Let's go, let's, let's go rapper, let's do a rapper strike. Unless you're a union, you can't really strike. I wanna see. But we're gonna make a union. Drink if you niggas, union, motherfucker. If y'all yeah. niggas stay together, nigga, I'm gonna kill myself. <laughs> <laughs> Y'all so niggas gonna strike and stay together, and nigga. Together. I, I said, the, the, Lord, me, the Lord is coming back tomorrow. Yo, did y'all hear that, rappers? He said, if y'all stick together, he didn't even say if we could do it. <laughs> he just said, stick together. Can we not get this message? We need to stick together. Wherever, yeah. wherever you are out there, I love you. <laughs> Hopefully you got love for me, but we need to stick together because if, are... <laughs> if the writers can, can stick together, and strike because they're not getting their. You well, think we can? That's the thing is the unionized. They got representation. Yeah, we got Jay Z. No, no, and we got, yeah. and we got Chuck. D. Jay, I need your help. And we got Chuck. And D. we got Chuck D. This nigga just D. bought a two hundred million dollar. Uh, help me to get my money, space. Jay. Yes. Don't let me be broke. Yes, goddamn. He just bought a two hundred million dollar house. Yeah, I, nah, I, I want to be there. I want to be invited. Them, I just uh. want them deals the nigga pass on. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, here you go, Quake. <laughs> I want the motherfucker too little for him. Yeah. Can I get the Jay Z? You don't want it. <laughs> That's the motherfucking deals I want. Like, the motherfucker, we got this for Jay. Nah, give it to Quake. That's the deals I'm looking for. I think we need two more shots. You understand what I'm saying? Need, That's the motherfucking deal I'm looking for. <laughs> Shit, nigga, 200 million for the crib? <laughs> nigga, <laughs> please, you won't hear nothing from me. Yeah. I see your success. Now, that that's the nigga that bring results. I'm sorry, right there. If it, so if what's, it, what's in your yeah. iPod right now? iPod, I'm talking about. The, what you listen oh, to on iTunes? Oh, man. Jay-Z, Biggie. I'm an Earth, Wind, and Fire nigga. It all depends mm -hmm. on what mood I'm in so I can get ready for you this. You don't listen to none of these young dudes? Nah, man. Any, I mean... Anything before a show that you, that, that you listen to get you hyped? I listen to it with my, um, you know, my son when he listened to it, you know? Like so Lil Baby, you started with Wale. he like Lil Baby, yeah. You started he with Wale, and you ended it with Busta Rhymes. Wale's yeah. in DC, DMV. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Wale, my man, yo, and um, I wanted to put that pressure on myself because I knew what it meant if you have the arrogance to name your shit legendary. That's a special. Right, that's fire. If you you have to put the work behind it, so it would make me get to that level that. And I know what level that I'm capable of that among my peers. All right, nigga, if you don't like it, where's yours? Mm. See, you can't criticize me if you ain't got nothing. 
Right. See, that's why I shut the nigga down. This ain't the shit. Well, who's the shit? And where's your shit? Now, you can't use another nigga resume to come at me mm. and say, well, Dave's shit is better than yours. Well, where's yours? That mm. might be true, but where's yours? Because right. you're speaking for you. Dave ain't speaking for you. So what you uh, you hold them accountable. So you sit back and like, where is yours? So when you name it legendary, you it's like a marker. You put out here and say, this is where I am at comedically. And your peers was like, Quake, that's the shit. And because we all root for it. Your haters, we trying to find any other way to come. And the motherfuckers that know they're not, don't supposed to be in this circle, mm. but hate on it. Right. And refer other people's shit when they don't have no shit. So I love it right now. And it makes me a better artist, to be quite honest with you. Because making this next special the Pulitzer is going to be my best work because I need it to get to where I'm trying to be. You know what I mean? Cause, and Dave is producing this as well? Yes. And it's in Atlanta, right? I'm going to produce it in Atlanta. Atlanta is where I started my comedy career. Right. When I left the military, I just went to Atlanta, not as a comedian, just to get on. And because um, Atlanta's like Baby Wakanda, yes, it, it, I, it's, it's, I wouldn't be here sitting with y'all if it wasn't for Atlanta, because Atlanta supported me harder than any other ever in the beginning of my career. Sold out shit. I ain't even had to leave Atlanta. That's good. Right. I was getting paid in Atlanta. Like a motherfucker, so right. I couldn't even be this. My my staff, my friends, people who knows me, who saw me be that nigga and see other motherfuckers who got accolades was all it. And my friends and people in Atlanta see me do that work. It's like he has the same ability. He is that, and they've been with me. So my team, I got Ava Star. These are people that started my fucking. In the beginning of my career, in my club, from waitress all the way to now that handles in my business, and it's our turn. And Shout out to your team. I owed Shout out to your team. Very professional. Shout out to ATL. We seen y'all. Was, I, I, pulled, I pulled up at one thirty. Y'all was already there having lunch. Yeah. I said, this nigga professional. No, what, what happened was Ava been trying, we've been wanting to do this for a while. And, uh-huh. um, Appreciate that. No, no. We, this was a high priority, but things that was happening, and Ava was hitting with your team, and yeah, oh, nah. We say, how can we do it that it can make, and we was in Tampa last night with the tour. I wish I would have knew. I would have went to that. Yeah, it was fire. Yeah. Said so fucking funny. Oh man, we need to that's get a movie. beautiful lineup, nigga man. Said it so. I, 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 that's a beautiful lineup. My birthday party is tomorrow, and uh, I'm gonna see said. I'm saying, man, y'all got you got to go down there. Yeah, said a real motherfucker. Love to have him. No, said it. Come. No, said. Believe he, me, he is uh, such a legend. He'll put when he in this point. I can speak. Yeah. Said to do it. I'm yeah. like said. You got to go down there and fuck with them motherfuckers. Yes, yeah, yes, man. We, yeah. we have, have fun. So did the edible hit you yet? Yeah. <laughs> Fuck okay, yeah, man. Okay, I'm, I'm taking a shot for the edible hit you, man. Hey, but your shot, the shot. Oh, okay. Uh, got, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, yeah. We're we gonna keep you lined up. Brother. Okay, you got me lined up. Wow. Not to say. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna skip on that. What was that? That's not the same, huh? Not to say. That shit just ripped my hole. Ripped my soul through a hole. How about how about acting gigs? What's what's your take? Do you, do you like enjoy doing films like that? It's the hardest shit in the world. Acting? Yeah, cause I, does the comedy translate for you when you? I'm act? not an actor. I'm a movie star. Mm, that was hard. Damn. That was hard. You know what I'm saying? That I don't different. need. I no because I don't need to portray somebody else's image of me. Allow me to, to do what I do, and we can make what we make, and it'll be profitable. All right. I shouldn't have to conform to a writer's perspective of trying to grasp that character when you can just take the essence of me and put me in a, fat- a fatistic ass fucking event, and we could be funny. What would Chris Rock? Be if he owned a bank in this. What was Dave Chappelle? All great comedians has been put in fictitious ass circumstances in a pair. You Eddie Murphy, Axel Foley being Eddie Murphy if he was a cop in Beverly Hills. Right, right, mm. right. I see what you're saying. See what I'm saying? 
Why I gotta come over this motherfucker and play this nigga? Put Earthquake in this and we'll do well. It shows, nigga. We're selling 6,000 tickets without a fucking TV show. Mm. If I can hold a person fucking attention for an hour, you don't think I can hold their interest for an hour if you put me around comedic actors with a fucking storyline? Mm. And why should I have to conform to that when I, what I don't do respect? I don't. Respect, why would that dude do that? Earthquake would never do this. Right. If you want to capture their shit, let Earthquake do that way and we'll do that way. So, it's, um, it's the hardest shit in the world. It really is. Can- and no, for people to understand your strength and for a person that's in a power of decision makers say, you shouldn't have to take him through that to get to here. Right. Right. Allow him to do this And we'll be profitable Because it's all about the money Right Because it's based on Was it a hundred million dollar movie or not Right Period Right And you put me in the right shit We can make a hundred million A hundred million dollars off a movie What's the ladies um, um movie channel? The ladies movie lifetime. channel? Lifetime oh. you, Would you let them do a lifetime movie on you? No nah, No <laughs> No unsung, no lifestyle, none of that shit. Yeah. No, I'm. You do a Netflix movie on you though. No. No. We, no, we don't need to do nothing. No I documentaries think, about your life. No, I'm good. Wow. I'm just want. I'm, everything for me ain't for sale. Mm. You don't. My everybody that I hope. Every that body that I touch their life. No, I touch their life. All right. And that's enough for me. Mm. What I do have sale for sale is some funny ass jokes and funny ass situation and rest of right. I'm that's why you never see on my Instagram who I'm dating, what right. my family is and is on No autobiography. No nah, nigga. Right. I ain't getting you that. Right. <laughs> I, that ain't for sale. Right. For exchange for what you say you giving me. Right. I all that humble nah, nah. This for sale. Right. Jokes. Uh, right, and I, I'm I'm satisfied for whatever revenue come from that. I don't need that extra, extra, extra. Right, right. you don't need. To and for, because for me, for that extra, costs too much. Right. And I'm not it. willing to sell for that. What comes from it, even if I could take it, my son might can't take it. Right, <laughs> might fuck with his life. Nah, that's real. So no, nah. so on nah. Twitter. Y'all know Drink Champs wants to give flowers while people are here to receive them. Giving flowers and celebrating our legends while they can still smell them. We have partnered with What the Flower to create this movement where everyone can give flowers to the legends in their lives. You can now order a custom flower box for the someone you want to show appreciation to by visiting www.wtflower.com and place your orders now. That's love for the baby right there, man. I appreciate it. You know, this means more than any award that you can get on some real shit because it means that you're appreciated by your peers, you're appreciated by the people that you do it for. And I accept my flowers with love. Yeah. A minute I asked, I said, yo, we got, you got, you got, um, earthquake. Our questions for earthquake. Mm-hmm. One of the first things they said was his famous divorce. Yes. Is that something you want to talk about? I talk about it all the time. Okay. I mean... <laughs> what happened? Tell us. If you want to. I mean... Because I heard you say you still believe in marriage. You just didn't believe... Oh, I'm about to get married again. Oh, really? Okay. No, I found the one for me, but... um. It's humbling when you find out a person don't love you. It's humbling when you come to a, a realization that of all the women you have met in your life, you pick the wrong one. Mm. And not that she's a bad woman. She just ain't right for you. Right. You understand? How long you also got? Three years? We was married for three years. Okay. I knew her for a long time. Mm-hmm. Um... 
<laughs> you want a Mike Tyson ear? No. I mean, you 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 sit here and you and you 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 try to be honest with a person or any person, and I try to be that flaws, whatever, because we all flawed people. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? We're beautiful flawed people, and that I am. You try to be honest with them and say, for whatever reason, this shit ain't working. Right. And based upon that, you should be happy. Mm-hmm. And why I say that, you deserve to be with the person you're supposed to be with and think that you're everything. Should celebrate you, not tolerate you. Mm-hmm. I say that a lot. Should celebrate you. Should be think you're the baddest woman in the world because that's what I thought when I fuck with you. I'm no longer there. All right. So instead, instead of trying to subsidize you, put other motherfuckers on here, I'm man enough to say this is it. And I was fit, victimized. This motherfucker came at me at every other way. And that's when I came to the conclusion, it's an occupational hazard that comes along with what we do. Mm. And you can't take it personal. Mm. Even if you came with the best intention. Right. Mm. And you can't retaliate and be that same way because there's no reason for you not to be a real nigga. Mm. Even if you fuck it with a motherfucker, ain't fuck, ain't practicing the same principles that you are. So it was the hardest motherfucker time in the world because I was raising my son. And I was like, how can I keep the relationship with him? And hope that he doesn't believe that he was the reason or whatever situation and have resistance because the custodian parent don't have my best interests. So at the least, she's saying he I at the most she tell him he's the worst nigga in the world and everything else. Mm. And you gotta pray to God that this motherfucker don't see you that way. And it's the hardest shit in the world. And stand up gave me that because I was able to articulate that and not hold it against it. And I will never understand why women don't understand. You should always be happy if a man comes to you and tells you that you are not the woman of his dreams. Is that why you felt like um, uh, Jada Pickett don't love Will Smith? Yes. Do you feel like that sincerely? Because a woman that loves you will never allow you to make that catastrophic decision, Mm. even if it was for her advantage. She would stop you. That's she's raised. She kind of like sick them on them, right? Well, not only we we can't say that, but uh, allegedly, uh, I mean, not only sick them, uh, she endorsed it by not stopping it. Mm Hmm. If you have the capability of stopping it and you don't, that's endorsing it. And in, in, in my humble opinion, and my woman, those requirements are necessary for you to be my woman. Mm. You cannot allow me to make Look a how big mistake, even if it was righteous. All right. In our eyes. That's your responsibility as my woman. Right. That's your female intuition. That's the love you have for me. Even if it was directed to you. It ain't about you. It's the to- totality of the picture of us. Because I heard you love. say um, he actually didn't even talk about her hair. He just said uh, a G.I. Jane joke. It was a joke. Right. You're in the entertainment. You get bad questions about your wife going down the red carpet. Right. You didn't heard worse from established fucking paparazzi and everything. Right. Why him there at the highest level? When you there to get your highest, to get your highest honor that never right. happened. You gotta understand this nigga did something <laughs> no motherfucker ever did. He came from a rapper. To a TV star, to a movie star, to the highest level of fucking acting. Very true. You understand? Very true. He he whacked everybody ass from a rapper standpoint. He went through all this studying, all this method act. I smashed all that shit 
from parents don't understand. Right. Right. And you're going to get up there and sit this shit that Denzel couldn't do and all the great actors that did for men before you, Sidney Poirier, and you're going to lie go over a joke, nigga. Nigga, please. <clears throat> and if you did, and I get that why he did, because that's the love of a man for his woman. I get that. He has no fault with me. I get it. When you love your woman, I kill everybody in here for mine. And it might not have been the right thing to do. Cameras here, police there, but that is what it is. But your right. woman supposed to say, no. Nah. That's where the love come in, in my humble opinion. This person. <clears throat> but what if, what if, if what Will wouldn't have did that to you? I would hope I would did the same thing Chris did. <laughs> now that I seen what Chris did, I would have took it. Really? But if I didn't know Chris, I would have knocked his ass out in that motherfucker. Chris taught us what he's supposed to do. Right. See, first of all, hitting him back for what? You already been punched. You can't get the punch back. Right. You can't. The punch is done. Right. Now you got to think of the box. Well, slap, punch, whatever yeah. adjective you want to use for it, nigga. The action has been done. There's right. nothing you can take that back. Now you got to think if you like Chris is as a black man for the first time ever, producing the motherfucking Oscars, the whole night is on TV. My kids watching. I got my family. Boom, y'all. Plus, if I want to go legality with the legal part, I can go that way on too. Move on, take a joke. It's cool on it. He has taught us, and I told him that. I said, thank yes. you. you no, Chris. I told Chris that. Thank you. You have showed me how I will handle that now. But if you come up that bitch in the club, I'm going to fuck you up. It got to be at the Oscars. <laughs> right, right. I'm going to stab you with that yeah. motherfucking mic stand. Right. <laughs> Do you think that um, since then, comedians was kind of like a target? Because, I mean, like, you know, there was people from that week of... It was it was on Instagram of people running up on comedians. Dave, Dave got yeah. Uh, was it Dave? Dave? It was Dave, Dave, and then it was uh, someone else. It was uh, I think D Ray Davis. I was at, uh, I was on the show with Dave, and the motherfucker jumped up. That nigga was a ninja. That shit looked uh, crazy. He was so quick. I was standing on the side of the thing because we were supposed to do a curtain call, and I was standing. That nigga came from nowhere. Um, nah, most comedians can fight. <laughs> <laughs> no, we some fight niggas. No, most comedians can fight. And um, me personally, that's what a mic stand is for. You run up that bitch. Let me see you run up here with this mic stand in your. Right. <laughs> <Look. laughs> I'm going to show you I'm from Africa. I'm going to jab in your ass. <laughs> I swear to God, I wish you would come up that bitch. I swear to God. <laughs> I'll spear your ass so quick with that bitch, nigga. Uh, oh, believe me, it's all for you to fight me with a motherfucking mic stand in your stomach. Mm. <laughs> no, real, I swear for God. Oh. That, that, do you, it, how would you react if someone was the? I would kill him. I mean, I would. I would <laughs> no, I mean, I don't have that kind of show, and you can tell the the room. Nobody's gonna take you that way. Well, you know, it builds up to that. Right. You know what I'm saying? You're like, this motherfucker getting out, and you hope security will start telling motherfucker to shut up because it'll be a badgering back and forth, off, off. And the motherfucker, like, for Dave, this nigga just came out of nowhere. Right. So he came there for that. There's no way you can protect yourself right. from that. Right. If a motherfucker. Well, they beat the shit out of him, though. Oh, I didn't see anything, but <laughs> he wasn't the same. <laughs> he was not the same. I was going to jump in, but I ain't had that kind of money. <laughs> I said, nigga, you can't put me in this suit. <laughs> but taking Did that, Chappelle that continue to do the show after that? No, the show was really over. It was over? No, everybody had performed. Okay. It was about, oh, that's why I was up that on. That was the closer? <laughs> No, <laughs> he was introducing a couple of because Chappelle, when he do his show, nigga, you don't know who's gonna be on the show, nigga. Mm. Um, people jump on rappers. That nigga, that nigga put everything. So Talib, Kwali, most yeah, Talib, all of them, and then he jump up. Nah, all of them. so we was there for the curtain call, and he was doing some other shit. And that's when the nigga jumped up. But the show was over. The comic aspect of it was over. The comedy show was gone. Why? Wow. That's why I was on the side of the. Uh, Stage. How you like the mayors? 
<laughs> These motherfuckers good. <laughs> Say Mike Tyson bites. I'm about to talk to Mike. Yeah. yeah. Man, Mike's are good. They yeah. good. They pretty really good. So, um, what's your favorite tour you ever been on? Oh. I have to say this one, Straight Chaser. Straight jokes, no chaser. Um, Cause we all get along. Now the AC work. You know this whole time the AC wasn't working. Now the shit. Is... God damn it. We some cool motherfuckers. So we cooled it down. Yeah. Yeah. We we get along, man. Just to be with said, doing what I'm trying to do, be on a, a major network for six years and go syndicated. I'm telling you. When I get my money, y'all niggas ain't gonna never see me no more. <laughs> you can tell I'm broke because you see me. <laughs> when I get some money, nigga, it's out of here. But say it, DL. The tour you on young. now? Yes. Oh, it's okay. the best one right now. Right. Because we all cool and everybody having a good time and we in arenas. And for 18,000 people, 14,000. Damn. It's a beautiful That's thing. Good. Tell the jokes. That. I love that, man. Let's make yeah, some noise. I love that. That that energy of of that many people laughing at your words has to be intoxicating. Yeah, but you can't play with them. All right. Meaning Well, you can you can you can you can be freestyling in the club. All right. But not with 18, people. Maybe even 2500 people. But 18,000. You got to be um, do you ever go off the head? Yes, I do, but it got to make sense. <laughs> By meaning, yeah. Yeah, well, sometimes you can lose it. You can go a different way and, like, fuck it artistically. You know, it's abstract. Uh -huh. Like, maybe these motherfuckers going to take the joke all the way here abstractly. You don't do that with 18,000. You stay stay to the basis of the way it is. stick to the script when you well, do Well, you, yeah. You, More or less. You, yeah, you, you, you make that shit in action. You don't, 18,000, you lose 4,000 of them niggas, especially they black, they'll boo your ass. No, really. You don't want to lose that. You don't play with 18,000. Because at that point, you're not working the material. In smaller venues, you probably work in material. Exactly. Right, right. Exactly. You go with definite. You right. know this. Right. Knock a motherfucker out. One, two punch. Put it on their chin. So yeah. Let me ask you, because I asked you earlier, was there anybody scared to come on behind you? But has you ever been scared to go on behind a certain comedian? Shit, all the time. Like who? Shit, everybody. Um, Bruce, Bruce. Bruce, there. Bruce. Yeah. He's on some weight, too. Yeah, Bruce. He outside looking skinny. Bruce. Yeah. Her. Bruce losing that weight, getting in shape. Um, Bruce, Arnaz, Jace, any competent. Who? All them niggas that's competent. All them. Listen to me, man. I didn't hear that name that you said, though. Bruce, Bruce. And then after the name, after Bruce, Bruce. Uh, Arnaz, J. Okay. Because he's physical. Okay. That motherfucker jump around, hit that wheel, come back now. You got to be ready for that shit. You fuck around, go up there and just stand there like you a rapper. <laughs> <laughs> you been going at rappers all night. I've been noticing He's like, that. Hey, bum, yeah. Bum. Yeah. Bum, bum. Bum, <laughs> You know what? Let me ask you. What do you feel about rappers becoming comedians? Can't do it, niggas. <laughs> we the only profession that y'all could never come over and dominate. Why? Uh, Ti's having an okay time. Okay, and he's great. paying his dues in, in he's that field. His dues. Yeah. Uh, he's he paying his dues. He's paying his dues. He's doing, and I'm not knocking. Ti is my friend. We talk right. all the time. I said, come but over don't this in and here. dominate. Yes, I do. Okay, good. Talking about dominate this to be this nigga. It is. It's from God's gift. This can't be taught. This, 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 this. You don't get a second time to tell a joke. Mm -hmm. It has to be perfect every time it come out. Mm -hmm. This the is it's, it's nothing that you can you can't teach this. The true one is inherent. Is God put him down as this? So if you that 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 that, God bless you. But you would never come over here and be this. Because to be this from there, yo, and very few are this. 
And so you don't think no rapper could become a comedian? I don't think no other person who ain't a comedian could be the like best. Like you have comedian. to be innately a comedian, is what he's saying. You have to be it. So you, you if you're never, a rapper, you should have been you was no, if a you rapped over there and you feel you was that nigga, you would never come over here and be that nigga. This is it. <laughs> I'm gonna fuck Baby, knock, knock, Jordan nigga. did it. Who? Jordan. Jordan? Yeah. Did Michael it where? Jordan? He did. <laughs> baseball. He did the, baseball and, and, and basketball. <laughs> Man, that baseball, he was hard. Yeah, that's true. That's that true. nigga, was, he didn't even make the major. I forgot that part. He, he only played baseball games. He was in Birmingham, Jordan. nigga. That nigga was he two was for two hundred. He was selling some seats. What y'all talking about, man? He was garbage, nigga. That was, nigga was on the bus at Waffle House. He wasn't Jordan. The Jordan he baseball. Was just nigga, yeah, he that nigga was. Michael. That nigga was terrible, nigga. I, what the fuck you talking about, nigga? You drunk. <laughs> That nigga was horrible, nigga. I'm taking a shot for that. Yeah, that nigga, come on, man. Mm. I mean, he played two sports. That's what I meant. Yeah, but I, I, I didn't say that. Deion Sanders. Deion Sanders. I said, I'm not saying you can't play in our field. He said, right. to I, master it. T, I, I'm saying dominate it. Bro, to dominate. be the man. To be so Mount you, You're Wrestler. saying there's never a rapper that can cross It's over. no other profession. Rapper, basketball player, actor, So you don't father, think Dennis Rodman? You don't think Dennis Rodman shit. right now can take on comedy no. and kill that shit? No, if you, you to be <laughs> to dominate us, to be a comedian, mm -hmm. let me tell you, uh -huh. you must be a comedian. Mm. Like there that. is that you to to dominate. You must be a comedian. We can smell you. Right. Mm. We can see somebody wrote that. Right. We can smell that nigga. That is not you. We can see nigga. You're not talking about what you experience. You, we can tell, like, right now, nigga, that ain't you. You'll never beat me. Right. Coming from a position of who I am, nigga, and that making it funny. You ain't never been to the desk where it is. That's what it takes to be at that point. Uh, we look at you and say, you got a good act. But you'll never be at that table with real comedians, nigga. You a hack. <laughs> you a motherfucking hack. You understand? But isn't that what they kind of said about Dave Chappelle? They, they said that Dave Chappelle oh. came up through the white uh, Of side. course, and he should have. Right. <laughs> I wish I would have over there. <laughs> I'd have been a star. <laughs> <laughs> if you drilling for oil, nigga, why wouldn't you go to Texas? <laughs> I'm the nigga over this bitch drilling for oil in D.C. <laughs> Ain't no oil in D.C., nigga. <laughs> Fuck, you gonna hold this nigga because he's smart enough to know the decision makers. Right. Uh, there, we're gonna get his shit. Mm. The question is, is he or is he not funny? And you know he is. Nah, they Fuck what that. pattern or what way he got there. He went that way. Mine's wasn't that motherfucking way, yo. And I have nothing against it. I don't, I swear. I wouldn't change it in the world. I wouldn't change it if I could. Couldn't. You ever watch Seinfeld? Yes. Do you realize that Elaine was a hoe? <laughs> Can't talk like that by white woman. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to fuck around, fuck all of us up. It's a good, wholesome white woman. <laughs> no, but look, you don't beat every episode. She had a new dude. I know, but <laughs> like, I was wondering when she was gonna get to the ease. Yeah, she went through every, <laughs> and she fucked Seinfeld too. Did she? Yeah, she gave some that pussy yeah. stuff. Jerry ain't even tell me. Yeah, salute for I, Elaine. Oh, I, I thought I thought me and Jerry yeah, was yeah. tight. Uh -huh. Shameless. Plug, I'm in this new movie called oh, Unfrosted on Netflix. See, I knew it. On Jer Netflix? Netflix? I like it. Yeah, Netflix. I like that. Yeah, I'm drunk. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, I'm on the. I keep fucking it up. Yeah, you gonna take that shot, though, sir. Okay, damn. <laughs> you know, the drink release. So you I got you. inside for a new movie? Yes, unfrosted. He really about that life. Matter, yeah, he got me some um, Air Force Ones. I thought I had them on, but these things. Yeah. But uh, I had them on last night. Um, yeah, he uh, saw my special like you did. Right. And he was filming this movie, and he was like, "I need to put you in my movie." And so he made me a uh, he made a, a cameo for me, and it's called Unfrosted. Jerry type of shit, Jerry Seinfeld. How did they come up with pot tots? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pot tots. You know, you used to eat pot tots back in the day. Yeah. Yeah. God damn. Yeah. 
Oh, yeah, is it for her now? <laughs> nah, it's just one of her. I see it. Now. Okay. <laughs> she went back to one. <laughs> she went back to one, nigga. I get my son. <laughs> I like you, man. Me and you can fuck around. Fuck him. Me and you. Fuck him. He's a Gemini, Gemini. Yeah, Gemini. yeah, fuck him. Me and you, nigga. Fuck him. Gemini. I'm doing that. It ain't take drink with you. Yeah, yeah shot that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, solo. yeah, fuck him. Solo, solo. Oh, no, solo. <laughs> <laughs> so where's your favorite place to perform? Like whenever you get an offer from here, you don't give a fuck if it's big money, little money, medium money. You like, I love to go there. I ain't gonna lie to you. If the money right, nigga, it got <laughs> the money got to be right. Well, no, it if they got if they got the sure. money, man, I'm there. I mean, favorite places because you know favorite places you. Only make your favorite because you know somebody in that city that you can see. No, I'll be honest. With. Like me, for me to perform, Philadelphia and Connecticut can get me cheap all the time. Because right. They, they you always you sell just out. put that out there right yeah, now? Yeah, but I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not taking no offers. <laughs> no, no. The office. He, I get them. I get them because you know, there's so I mean much is, love. There's so much love that yeah. if you come out that I, I will never turn down a, 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 a that's decent... Mo- that's sh- worth more than money for you. It's right? worth more than right, money right, because I feel like an artist when I'm in Philadelphia. You feel appreciated. To tell you the truth, I don't. No, nah, he comfortable with just getting compensated yes. based upon his and, art. And, and, yes, and that's you cool. Correct. You correct. I'm not there. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you correct. I'd rather have a great you show. Understand? One of the you understand? Shows no, I have, but yeah. see, no, he's. It's a mentality. I'm mm-hmm. still in the worker man's mentality. Mm-hmm. You understand? Uh-huh. This is what I need to be compensated for my art. Right. Yeah. I want to get to where he is. So basically, and you don't I have want... a favorite place. Or do you have a favorite still? No, I mean, uh, everywhere I go, if they're here to see me, man, and I, I, I you got to say DC paid. and Atlanta. Well, DC is where I'm from. Yeah. Atlanta is the birthplace of my talent. Right. Those are symbolic, but everywhere I go, they give me the love it is, and right. I have fans off of it, right. but my mentality ain't that way. You know, certain places are oh, this symbolic with it. Right. I haven't got to that point yet because okay. I always been behind on my mortgage. So, <laughs> so I always been a motherfucking job. It's that California you understand? Mortgage. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? We're going to here and it pays this. We got to give them a great show and they love me and I love them. You right. know what I mean? I haven't been able to get to that comfortability that I can just love it just for the art and I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. Really, I am nigga to the point that I want to go down here because they just love me and shit off and they That's just honesty, that man. way. Yeah. I just no nigga. I want to get to that point. <laughs> nigga, it's, it's the workman's mentality. Once you you, I tell comedians all the time. You this this is a blessing, but it still is an occupation. You got to work at it, man. You can't right. sit around here and take this shit. For granted, cause nigga, a fan only blows when you're hot. Mm. And you gotta stay Ooh. hot, nigga. That was a crazy. You gonna sit around here and take this love if you want to, nigga. You fuck around and have four people out here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you better walk in that bitch every day, understand, nigga, you owe them. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Cause they blowing. And Germany too. I like performing. Dusseldorf. Yeah. Dusseldorf. Yeah. I like performing. Let's spell like, it. They, they, they can get me for a, a, a discount. Not really, cause not really, <laughs> cause I gotta already be out there. Uh-huh. You like your? I love it now. I mean, <clears throat> Dave and and Chris took me out there, and it was beautiful, man. What parts of Europe you went to? I went to. Um, we went to London. We went to um, Amsterdam. We went to Paris. Uh, Paris. We went to. Uh, um, where's the motherfucker, the white dudes that perform uh, Coldplay? Yeah, we performed at the O2 Arena. It was beautiful, man. Mm. And just to see these motherfuckers saw me, because I looked out in the crowd and then nobody looked like me. <laughs> oh, yeah. And I was like, okay. <laughs> Did that worry you that the jokes wouldn't no. resonate? No. Nah? See what you have to do. You know it. Uh. The truth of the matter is, you have to be you. Right. Yes. If you pat, if you sit here and try to reach them, trying to, 
you know, cater to them. Cater right, right, right. to right. them. So just, no, no, yeah, yeah no, they're, no, here. They're, you, they're here for you. They, yeah. Well, they're here for him. Right, You're just right, trying right. to get them to say we love him too the same and, way, right. and make them a part of your coalition. Right. You know what I mean? Right. I mean, he... I couldn't have never sold 18, 19,000 motherfuckers in Europe. Right. So they don't even know I'm on the show. Right. So my job is let's take the advantage of this opportunity that they have given me to make some of these motherfuckers an earthquake fan. Mm -hmm. What I tell comedians all the time don't worry about who the number one comedians or the second best comedian, the third, the fourth, or eight. Niggas, 52 weeks in a year. These niggas can't be everywhere. Right. That's so true. if they're in Atlanta this week, Kevin in the wine this week, they're going to need comedy next week. Come the next week. Right. The nigga can't be in Atlanta for 52 weeks. Right. Yeah. Thank he won't he open up and have people to come see the shit he's doing and then put your version on it and you too can get paid off of it. He showed there's a market for it. Right. And that's what I was doing over in Europe. They put me on and, man, it was the best 15 minutes. I had a great time. Uh, private yeah. jets? Yeah, I put <laughs> hey, that nigga had private jets and everything. Hold on, don't take a shot by yourself. Oh, I had to go on a private jet. I was like, God damn. That's what I gotta get next though. All right, who, who calling me from Puerto Rico? Pick it up, man. It's Puerto Rico. I ain't picking up shit. Pick it up. It might be it might be uh Tego Calderon. It might be Daddy Yankee, hey. Hey, that'd be amazing. Tempted to pick, pick it, up. it up, man. Pick it up. What if, pick it up. What if it's a bill collector? Come on. I'm drunk. You should have picked up and said, Dad, I get the puede. Not gonna make my party. <laughs> you got a party tonight? No. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, we're back. I'm um in a, in um LA. Everybody's coming. I hope you can come, but you yeah, don't fly you ain't tell me. How you gonna tell me right now? Yeah, well, <laughs> you know I'm a grown I ass man with disabilities. I, I hope you can come. <laughs> well, I just met you today. <laughs> and I didn't have your number. Just gonna point it. <laughs> I couldn't pull it out my ass. This nigga here might be five I could, before the party. I couldn't, couldn't pull it out my ass. <laughs> I would love you to be now, there. Crazy, I was trying to speak to you because I because I, I I heard that you ordered Macallan. Yes. So what I wanted to bring was Pappy Van Winkle. So Ooh. I was trying to get your Good. your number. To, see, you, see, you, you okay. appreciated Pappy Van. Okay. Comedians, you got a cigar. Big comedians back to back. Yes. You got a cigar. That, I got that a goes cigar. Right the cigar. Oh the yeah. Van. So I was trying to um, get in contact with you, but then I then I rolled up here and I seen she was already here, and I was like, oh shit. I said, I maybe mean, should I go over there and ask them now. But then I didn't know if you was eating. I didn't want to bother you. No, nah, so we like, good. Man. I was like, yeah, but but yeah, I, I wanted to bring the Pappy. Um, because uh, I heard you as a cigar smoker. Now, see, what kind of cigar is that? Well, I just use this as a prop. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, really. Because yeah, you ain't like that motherfucker, though. No, nah, I ain't like that. I, I got, no, nah, I got bronchitis, nigga. I <laughs> That's why I don't smoke no more, nigga. I fuck with edibles, nigga. <laughs> so I really like, oh, yeah, edibles. Man, man. I just... I use it as a prop. Niggas be giving it to me. I don't want to, like, nah, nigga. <laughs> Yo, and I think we both thought it was lit. <laughs> nah, nah, I, I tell it get hard. I'll fuck with it. But this the most I do. That's it. I can't, nah. <laughs> what is bronchitis? It's not. Well, it's an um, infection of your lungs when you let smoke go. Yeah, you definitely can't smoke. Hurts, so you can't yeah. smoke. Right. So, you know, I stopped it. I was like, fuck that. So, edibles came out. So this is how I get my weed. <laughs> you, uh, you so there is. Tyson yeah. Oh, I'm, I'm gonna eat these motherfuckers here now. <laughs> no, no. Another one. That's three. That's three. How many is that for him? Three. And no, and then he had the other edibles that he had already. That was he had a, he had he had, he had, he had his own he had his own shit and he had his own. This is my birthday week. I leave to, tonight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Happy birthday. Major of the night. Fuck yeah, man. Thank you, my brother. Also, it's been birthday week. Yeah. Yes. Fuck, lady. My lady, too. May 27. Fly back to L.A. I'm having a party. Everybody going to be at my jump, man. And it's a beautiful... Five minutes before the party. Man, right. God damn, you got it, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he said, you got the invite. You know what's you crazy? Knew it, it was what you you got want. it, nigga. If you true. wanted to be there. Yeah, no, no, it's true. I got a dinner appointment tomorrow, then we got Akon to edit the next day. Yeah, so I got I it, man. I definitely went. I'm bored of shit. I'm bored we gonna, of shit. We're going. Um, we, we'll be in uh, St. Louis on the 28th. 28th. Okay. The 28th. Kwan's wedding is St. Louis. If y'all want to come up there, I got you tickets. It's me, Sad, DL, 
DC on, uh, and we're gonna have a good time. And you know, I'm gonna kick it with Saint. You know, oh, my yeah. boy I'll, Saint. I'll make the 28. 28. I'll yeah, in the loop. And, and I got you. Nelly up. Let's see if, yeah. let's see if we, no, we Nelly gonna be there. It's my birthday. Yeah. Oh, my yeah. bad. My bad. Nelly, everybody. Because you know, you know, um, say it from the loop. Yes. Yeah, yeah. He's from St. Louis. Yeah. He's from there. Yeah. So, uh, damn. That's dope. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do it. I think I'm gonna do it. And Wade Kwan's getting married. Congratulations on, to Wade Kwan. On the 30th, man. Congratulations. That's for Wade Kwan. For Wade Kwan. You're challenging your inner Nori. That's the reason uh. why I couldn't do the 31st. Um, but, uh, yeah, man, I think, I think rappers getting married is dope. I mean, yeah, well, I mean, what? That shouldn't be extraordinary. <laughs> no, because, you know, for, for a long time, you know, we talk about whores and, and, and bitches. And now, Not every, all I, rappers. No, I mean, most of us. Mm-hmm. 90. Four percent of us. That's a good percentage. I think. Yeah, that's and I've been married sixteen. No, I've sixteen been, years. I've been married. No, I've been married twelve years, but I've been my wife sixteen, 16 years. years. Yeah. Congrats. Real niggas, you gonna take a shot for me? Hell you gonna take yeah. a shot for me? Give me a shot for that. <laughs> This nigga picked the number one pick. <laughs> here, here, nigga. This nigga got his draft pick and got a plan. And you well, said you, you said you get married again? Yes. Mm-mm. He said he's on the shot, nigga. Take the shot. You know the rule. Go ahead. <laughs> I need to hear about your new marriage. Ooh. As much as you comfortable with. No, I'm always comfortable. Because ain't nobody listening to us. No, I'm comfortable. That's beautiful. I, I mean, I um difference maker. Mm. Um, can coexist with me, but effortlessly. Um, makes me a better man. And these are not just words, dog. It's um. Uh, uh, come on, guys. One, two, three. Aww. Aww. Man, fuck y'all. <laughs> um, that was a, aw, no, right we, that was there. a positive. Uh, no, no, positive. I get that you. Not a condescending. Uh, uh, that was positive. No, because I'm a result oriented type dude. Right. You know what I mean? Right. It's the results on it. I I believe in that. Right. You know, um, like with my previous re. Um, relationship I used to say if I meet you and I got five million dollars and we break up and I got 75 million dollars I owe you 37 but if I meet you and I got five million dollars and I break up with you and I still got five million dollars I owe you shit (laughs) we didn't prosper (laughs) that's good math no you you wasn't a you wasn't a difference maker right no fault to you. We did not exceed our expectations. It wasn't a fruitful it did, it did. business. Is it? It's bottom line. A result oriented mm-hmm. type. Dude, show me your results. Fuck what you say. Mm. Oh, women, I'm a bad motherfucker. I'm this. This. Okay. How do you equate to is better? Mm. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm not a nigga that value pussy the way other niggas do. All right. Fucking you does not make me a better man. It doesn't. All right. It does not. It never have. And it never will. So I need more than that. Show me how you're going to help me to get here. And to answer your question, she has. Mm. And there's nothing that I had anything to do with. And that's when you know there's a difference. Mm. And... The record speaks for itself. And How that's long have you been together? Three years. Same. Three years. I met, I met her eight years ago. Mm. Try to get her. She didn't take the bait. Thank you. You know, okay. really, I try to, you know how I was. <laughs> But you, 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 how'd you meet her? You, get, you hit her with some jokes? No, I was like, <laughs> hit her with let some me, jokes. Let me take you to dinner. It was laid out to the club. And if you live in um, L.A., um, you know about L.A., they have two restaurants. One of them is in the Valley, and one of them is at the Beverly Center. And I said, let me take you to dinner in the same restaurant. 
What I restaurant said, is it? Um, <clears throat> what's the name of that motherfucker? Beverly Center, you talking about the mall? Yeah, the mall. It was right there. It was, motherfuckers went there all the time. It skips my mind, the name of it. But the one I wanted her to go to was the one that was close to our house. In the valley. Yeah. So I said, let's go to that one. She's like, nah, we can go to the one that's Jerry's Deli. Jerry's Deli, that's my shit. Yeah, Jerry's yeah, Deli. They got shit. one at the Beverly Center, uh-huh. and they got one in Studio City. Uh-huh. Right. I got one in Studio, I live near Studio City. So I said, let's go to eat. She's like, yeah, I go out to eat with you. I said, let's go to Jerry's Deli. She said, sure. She said, the one on Beverly Deli. I'm like, nah, it's Studio City. She said, nah, nigga, this one right down the street. Uh, so I tried to get her. She'd be like, she wasn't hearing it. So eight years later. But you did go to Jerry's Deli in the Beverly Center. Huh? You did go to Jerry's Deli at the Beverly Center. Nah. You went to one in the Valley. We didn't go to eat, period. I didn't go to eat. <laughs> no turkey and cheese? Nah. Uh-huh. No man. She didn't want to go where I want to go. No paso. So how the hell did this happen then? Well, I just say, let me get your number. I'll call you later. Right. Because <laughs> my goal, I'm going to feed you, but I'm going to feed you where I want you to eat. You're not going to Roscoe's? Well, if that's what you want, if Roscoe's near my house. <laughs> <laughs> well, you only go to, you only eat the restaurants near your house. If I'm trying to get you to my house. <laughs> Genius. If I'm trying to sleep with you, I'm going to feed you near my house. <laughs> okay. And if so you want. that where restaurants is near your house. <laughs> and it was a Jerry's near my house. Like the map it's a Jerry's. No, I know where it's open at near my house. Okay. Is there Mr. Charles near your house? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Child's about 15 minutes from my house. <laughs> you got the time. Okay, there. All right. Uh, is there a Noble near your house? Noble's about nine minutes. <laughs> you won. <laughs> yeah. That's it. That's what no, I'm saying. I have no more further questions about right Yeah, but, but that'll let you know she won't be with me. I'm going to feed you. Yes. I said you thought you won't be with me. She ain't want to be with me like that, and I respect that. So, so what restaurant did y'all actually... Your first date was on. Where was that? No, um, our first date was like eight years later. After, Damn, eight years later. Yeah. Oh, you could wait. No, <laughs> he played the long you game. You played chess like a motherfucker. <laughs> you want somebody that wants you, so right. mm. you um, you say I'm doing this show, ba ba ba. Come out and see it. She came out of show. She was like, all right, let's hang out. I said, I can't. I had to leave. Say hello to her. And um, we was all kicking. Then the pandemic hit. So I stopped, you know, I had nothing but time. So we started kicking and we was good. Oh, so y'all was together during the pandemic? Yeah, that's the way it all happened during yeah. the pandemic. Yeah, that, that, that's, that's when relationships was tested. Well, because you started to hate a motherfucker. Yeah, that's true. You're if like, you with the wrong with motherfucker, <laughs> but you also get to define if this really is the motherfucker you want to be with. Because you see, other shit has right. been occupying your time. It's been giving a waiver to this motherfucker. Mm. Now you have nothing but isolated time with you and her, and you get to as a real man, especially if you're in your forties or fifties, you get to to evaluate what exactly you got. I she always, can't. She can't hide none of those flaws. I always say it's only three ways to know a person: to go to jail with them, yeah, <laughs> to go on tour with them, true that, or to live live with them. It, yeah, it's all like jail. <laughs> it's all the same. <laughs> same. It's all thing. the same. There's different if you restrictions. You go on tour with a motherfucker. You gonna learn you didn't like this motherfucker a lot because you are gonna see him a lot. You go to jail with him. There's nothing more that you can do but judge him. Because that's all you got to do. <laughs> so all you got to do. And then if you live with a motherfucker, it's the same exact thing. Mm-hmm. So you you will know that person within two weeks. Within two weeks, if you don't know them within two weeks, it's because you blind like a motherfucker. You are acting Stevie Wonder because everyone knows Stevie Wonder can see. <laughs> everyone knows Stevie Wonder can see. You yeah, that, I believe right? that. No, listen, man. I Wonder? believe you can see. True story. Two weeks ago. Oh shit, this is a reason. No, nah, this is two weeks ago. It's a true story. I walked by and me and Stevie Wonder as friends and I passed him and I ain't seen him. People were like, thank you, that's Stevie Wonder. I said, oh man, I done missed out that saying what to my name. Stevie Wonder look at me, you nigga, you just gonna pass me. I saw you. <laughs> Yeah, 
He didn't say he smelled you. No, the nigga said, I saw you. You just going to pass me up. I said, nigga, I said, that's fucked up. Steve, you saw me and I ain't see him. <laughs> I said, that nigga, what kind of life I'm living? Oh yeah. oh Stevie saw me and I ain't see him. Oh my God. Yeah. What was the story that was told? Uh, not no, the, Shaq. Not, not, no, not the Shaq, but the other one is better. What? The one about crossing the street. Oh, oh that was Ozzy Brothers. Ozzy Brothers. The Ozzy Brothers said they seen Stevie Wonder crossing the street. And he said, by himself, by himself. He said, man, somebody go get that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and they had to run across the street when Stevie was crossing the street by himself. Stevie, listen, nah, man. Nah, Stevie, you know you Stevie a cool motherfucker. You at. Yo, well, Stevie, we would love to have Stevie here. Stevie, on drink champ. I'm going to talk to Stevie. <laughs> come to my club. <laughs> we do Tuesday night in... Um, in LA It's called uh, Comedy Cafe um, Comedy Chateau That's where it's located It's called Earthquake and Friends And Stevie comes there Every oh, Tuesday man. Tell him, man. We wow. love And that, he man. told his first joke Last Tuesday Oh uh, shit So I'm gonna tell him Like I'm gonna yeah. tell Say it I'm putting yeah. it on my please, life Please yes. Y'all oh, got yeah. You gotta go down there And Thank fuck you. with you the drink Break yeah. dummy Came out book Yeah <laughs> Yeah I'm gonna tell <laughs> Steve. We go I'm gonna, like, You gotta <laughs> fuck with him Oh my god You went too far You went too far I'm going to say, please, say it. You got to do it. Now, we know you got the internet. Because we all got the internet. Are you seeing what's going on with DJ Envy and Rick Ross? Yeah, man. I'm going to go take a piss while you talk about this. See, I'm a different kind of dude, dog. I don't get it. I just don't get it. From Rick Ross far and DJ Envy, the same thing, man. You got a problem with me, call me. You know me, I know you. Right. You understand? All this back and forth on it, so it can't be we upset with each other, so that means we can have a conversation. And if it, if it is that we upset with each other, that's when I'm totally out the game. Because mm. I don't play fight. Right. I don't. It's either real fight or no fight at all. Oh, no fight at all. Yeah. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah. You an enemy or you not. Right. Nigga, what we doing? Mm -hmm. Then I got to contemplate. Do I need to take you off this motherfucker, protect my family? What, what, what we doing? You see what I'm saying? So I don't understand it, especially to establish motherfuckers. If it's a problem, what's the problem? Like I just me and you right now. If I ever heard I call you, hey, yes. it's Quake. Oh, yeah. No, what's up, man? We we good. What's up? Yeah. There? Tell me what's and I'm man enough to say, I'm sorry if you seen that, yeah. and I apologize. Right. You would never have that problem from me again, bruh. And I think I hope me and you are still cool. If yeah. you say you don't want to fuck with me no more, it's cool. Because right. the world is big enough that it doesn't determine me and you getting along. Right. You ain't Russia. Right. I ain't the United States. I'm Switzerland. <laughs> you understand? But yeah. what I'm saying is it doesn't deter the, the existence of mankind does not depend on me and you getting along. And the world is big enough that I can go live somewhere else that I don't give a fuck what you do. Right. Real shit. <laughs> and I'm still good with it. Real shit. That's why I just don't understand it. Right. From G to G. Right. Call that nigga. Call that nigga up here. What is this all this yapping? Cause you, you ain't. They both went too far. How do no, you what I'm saying is, nigga, you know it ain't no consequences right. to the yapping. Right. Cause none of you niggas, if you're smart enough, willing to pay the cost to lose everything to end what it is, man to man. So why are we talking about it? Right. I don't right. hate you enough more than I love myself. Mm. I don't hate you enough. More than I love myself. So, nigga, I'm not doing that time fucking with you, nigga. I'll let you go. And that's why it's just disappointing, especially at that level. And we have to teach these young niggas that. Right. We, we have to. And if they see the top niggas feuding over, whatever it is, right. it don't bring no resolution to the rest of the motherfuckers on how it is. Period. And that's just my humble opinion. Um, they could have both probably stopped from the beginning, like you know. Um, but I feel like I feel like 
you know, because again, I, we have respect for them both, and it started on Drink yeah, Champs. It sucks, that which it sucks that it started on Drink Champ. But 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 I didn't feel like Ross, to say the truth, and MB's, I thought it was just Envy my friend, joking, and Ross my friend. But when when Ross said it, I didn't feel like Ross was being out of line. I felt like Ross was just saying like competitive he on was some, just on like some being competitive, shit, right? And I felt like Envy, you know, responded as he as he as he should. He's supposed to, and I feel like. When Envy said, um, Charlemagne, would you let your daughters uh, sleep in the house with Ed- Eddie Murphy? And I, you know, although he was talking about Charlemagne's daughters, I felt like Rick Ross took it like he said, you were talking about my daughter. So that's when the, the, the thing kind of like spiraled out of control. And in my opinion, I could be wrong as well. You know what I mean? I could be wrong. But this is how I see it. And, and, and it just kept going. It just kept going. But I humbly, you know, if, if 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 you guys are listening to this show, listening to this podcast, please, brothers, you guys are way too important. I think one of y'all should pick up the phone, speak to each other, and too much of an example. And to I other, other the people. fuck out. We we love y'all both, and everyone's gonna go to both of y'all car shows. Right. We're not gonna pick. We're gonna go to both of y'all car shows. So I'm glad I ain't got them kind of cars. <laughs> and keep them slave ass cars. <laughs> That's I what I love about comedians. You can make fun of any niggas. situation. I don't want no cars when we had no rights. Mm. Them niggas in them 1950. <laughs> Fuck, I won't be in that slave car. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you couldn't even be at no diner. <laughs> You couldn't even get a slice of pie. <laughs> Fuck, you need a, a 52 Chevy. Mm. You couldn't even ride that bitch down the street. Crazy. You're not in the old school cars, I assume. No, man. I'm not a car dude player. I'm just fucking with them. My friends are. Anthony Anderson is. Sad is. My boy Maurice is. They got them old cars. They put money into them. Good you don't investment. own an old car. Huh? I don't own an old car. I don't want nothing old but money. I want my shit this year or last year. That's it. Oh, that's right. I'm a lease nigga. I'm a oh, lease motherfucker. Too. Three years. Come get these bitches. <laughs> no, I'm a financer. I mean, nah, nigga, that's a bad you like investment. like to buy and finance? I'll buy Maybach still, sir. Yeah, but so, that doesn't matter. You're still financing. Still losing money, man. I got a Maybach. I'm trying to let, sell it. Let me tell you something. Mm. I ain't losing no money, sir. I mean, okay, I don't know the you business model no you money. got. Uh-uh. My shit going up. Okay, nigga. Well, let me up. let me look at my shit again. Yeah, yeah, my shit going up. Like I ain't gonna lie to you, my shit. My yeah. accountant had to call me and say, "Nigga, good move." <laughs> that motherfucker right outside. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I saw that bitch. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I saw. Say, that, that's how you know it's real when your accountant oh, yeah. say, "Man, and my watches. All every one of my watches. Your watches, dude. I'm a watch dude. Every one of my watches. Like he. This is how you know I'm ill. My accountant is telling me, what what watch do you think I should buy? <laughs> okay. Okay. I promise you. Because like a lot of people are investing in stock, but gold is so up right now, every piece of gold that I bought has tripled. So I bought a piece of gold for twenty six thousand that is worth sixty eight thousand right now. Mm. That nigga's a genius. Damn, my nigga, I ain't even gonna fuck. I ain't even gonna fuck. My, the jewelers are calling. <laughs> you listen, this is how bad it is. The jewelers are calling me to buy the shit back. They're like, yo, can I buy that back from you? So he said he's a genius. A piece of gold, yes. Yes, yes. No, no, no. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm fucked up. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who the fuck called me from Puerto Rico. <laughs> and it's 444. Is child support? <laughs> Go. Child. <laughs> oh, shit. Hopefully, it's Daddy Yankee. Pick up then, man. Uh, Pick you, up you, and tell you, Boris to answer. You ever listen to Spanish music? Nah. <laughs> I ain't got shit over here, dude. <laughs> I'm all no black on everything, there. nigga. I ain't. No, I'm black. Black. No, I'm no black. daddy Yankee. Nigga. No, I'm Donald Mom. Nah, nigga. It's, no Jake Albans. I'm primitive like a motherfucker. Over here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm serious, nigga. You ever been to Columbia? Nope. <laughs> what, what, why did you randomly pick Columbia? I, mean, I looked at hash. <laughs> I ain't been none of that, yeah. You know? A lot of, a lot of, uh, where's, ah, oh, fuck. What do you yeah. say? A lot of what? But like, a lot of people go to Columbia now. 
<laughs> for all the wrong reasons. For all the wrong nah, reasons. Shout out to Columbia, if you marry, bro. you cannot go to Colombia by yourself. I'm just Love telling you. <laughs> if you about to get married, listen, you're going to fuck your shit up. Do not go to Colombia. She ain't leaving that hill. <laughs> <laughs> I know mine. Uh, she invested. Go to Cartagena. Take your wife there. Your wife. Nah, they want to go to Medellin and get no, it. No, Medellin, Medellin is beautiful. I love yeah. Medellin. They want to go to Medellin. Yeah. yeah. No, no, Medellin is beautiful. It's beautiful. Pablo Escobar town and the hookers is twelve dollars. No, they, don't don't listen to him. No, 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 don't listen to him, man. That's they, disrespectful to people made yings. Well, the hookers is twelve dollars, man. No, man. First of all, they not twelve dollars, but they, no. Yes, it is. Act the Has no. Ain't they twelve dollars? Twenty five. Okay, all right. <laughs> My bad. No, nah, no. Nah, listen, shout out to people made yings. Colombian yings. dollars. Or American? Beautiful place, beautiful place. American. It's dollar. like Miami in a valley. That's still that's that's twelve dollars in, in, in my mind. Same shit. He think about going to Columbia. You better stop. Yeah. I'm saying I right, come with up with an excuse. <laughs> go to Columbia. Go to uh, Puerto we Rico. We got a show, and <laughs> I gotta save a little baby. <laughs> I gotta save a little baby. <laughs> People going out there to get their teeth done. Yeah, I gotta just to get that shit out. Just get forty dollar no. hookers. I'm telling you. I gotta come up with yeah. The baby need me. You're right. The baby need me. <laughs> she a Quake fan. <laughs> I'm trying to see how I can get there without her. Cause she packed soon as I motherfucker go. Miami, I'm going. Uh, you need to bring, the, please bring the tour down to Miami the next time y'all yes. do. It. Um, we are, man. Right. We good, but I'm a, once I get this TV show, yo. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do um TV and show. What is the TV show about? Can you tell us? Um, no, I can't. <laughs> Cause he on, I'm not gonna know he right on strike, man. <laughs> and, and, um, what is the family app? Like family? No. Okay. It's a perfect shit for me, and um, it's on Warner Brothers. I, I, no, I don't probably say that. We on Warner Brothers. Brothers. We on Warner Brothers. Okay, I'm Warner oh, Brothers. We, so we we, we in the same. Money. We, we got the same. Yeah. Yeah. We on Think about Warner Brothers partners, goddamn it, hell yeah! And um, so you finger popping shit in the TV show? <laughs> no, no I'm, man, um, <laughs> it's a sitcom. I'm being earthquake in okay. a fictitious world, and it's the first time that I this one got a shot, you know? Because you know it's a process. First, you got to get the show, uh -huh. you got to then you got to get on it, then you got to stay on it, then you got to get renewed. You know, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's, a, it's a ride. But did y'all film it yet? Or no, no. I I had the deal. We signed the deal, and then they went on strike. Did they, did you get the advance? No. Damn. <laughs> Fuck. The money ain't come. Ain't nothing. No. The strike stopped everything. Strike Fuck the strike. Well, you don't want get your ass back to work. No, because you don't want to announce you got the show, and your partner in crime is your showrunner. What? Right. That's your your right hand man, and he out there on labor strike. You don't want to be on there, so I'm um, just holding on. So as soon as he make his deal and they get together and um, we don't get it done, I'm, I thought I dropped this other special in there, so I'd be straight. Right. You and you know? can't strike with them, cause then they, they no, cause I'm not a writer. Right. <laughs> I can I can support you from the crib. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm like, like, you go. Go. I, I feel you. <laughs> but nigga, no. I, I'm not in a position to make any white man upset. <laughs> I need all of them to be my friend. All right. <laughs> now, uh, I, now, as a friend of Dave Chappelle, uh, one of the most uh, catastrophic, I want to say, things is when he walked away from like 56 million or 57 million. Yeah, that nigga got strength. <laughs> Tell y'all niggas you right now that I wouldn't have 56 sold. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being honest with you. Nigga strong. He made it triple over. He believed in yeah, his belief. Man. But I swear to That's God, resolved. they got, got 56, resolved. nigga. But essentially, when you first heard that, that he turned down, what did you think? That nigga got faith. Taking his job of faith. No, I mean, I mean, he believe in his principles and what it is, and that's one thing about comedians, true comedians. They, the money is is just an afterthought. You know what I mean? If you make anything like you said, 
you you treated me well, and I'm gonna go there. I'm supposed to get this amount of money, but I do it for this because everything was so good. That's who we comedians is. Wow. But if you exploiting us and we not, we feel we being exploited, there is no money you can give us that we would do it because we know at the end of the day we compromising who we are. And it's going to show up on your stand-up. He could never be the motherfucker that he is today had he accepted that. Because it would compromise everything he is of his thought pattern. It's real. How he coming to the to the jokes he's doing right now. He could have never fought everything else because he already took the motherfucking bid early with Comedy Central. Mm. And that's what people don't understand. So when I saw him do it, I was like, yeah. He's the, he is that dude. Solo, let's take a shot for that. Let's fight it for him, Solo. Cheers. Cheers. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't think you was gonna drink. Who? I thought you, yeah, I thought Man, he drinking and eating edibles. <laughs> <laughs> look, at, go down, look at his shotgun. Go down, look at my look, look, look. Go down the ladder, nigga. You hear about me? Up, but I didn't know. I didn't know. Oh no, no I, man. I fucked around. Man, I finalized this for the gun. I finalized oh, this, my mama. Oh, oh. Yeah. I don't know. I'm gonna do drink that, with y'all. <laughs> this is this is this is this is mine. And I got one more. Hold on, hold on. I got one more. I don't know. We gonna take this shot for? <laughs> We're gonna take it for oh damn right now you 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 ain't want to warm you ain't want to warm up to it. Remember, he got a flight this good. Oh yeah, that's right. We got eight more minutes with him because he said it hard shit, out shit, at shit. five o'clock, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Well, earthquake. I'm not ending. I got one, and we one got, or two we more. Take the oh, we got time. We're yeah, yeah. Go ahead, take um, the time. We're good. Man, you a legend, legend, man. Right. And you you know what's dope about you. And let me just say this. Okay. And I mean this, and it's not no hyperbole. For you to say that as being a real nigga, I'm good. Nah, <laughs> you understand? Nah, I'm being honest. No, but I'm saying. Yeah. And that's what matters. Right. You understand what I'm saying? Right. We right. hear from you, right. real motherfuckers in the game saying what it is. Yeah. You can get a TV show, you can get a syndicate, you can be that. If you don't have respect around among your peers and yes. other genres who peers this shit, recognize your shit, you have nothing. So. When I hear that, not to interrupt you, mm -hmm. it's just me and you talking yeah, about for absolutely. you to say that. Yes. That's, it stamps it on and long. I can take that home and feed my kids with that. But, but. And my woman tells me that. Mm. Oh, yeah, this is, but you're one you of the only it, comedians that I know that, shit. that can respect <laughs> you are that. other comedians. Like, yes. other comedians. That, that's what's beautiful about you, your career, your legacy, your plot is, you know, a lot of rappers don't get respected by other rappers, right? So they'll be like, man, fuck him. You know, he's from such and such, or he's, he doesn't do this. One thing I know about you is at, when, I, when I said your name, everybody was like, that's the man. Everybody, rappers, comedians, ball players. Like, I, I seen it on Twitter, and everybody was like, yo, that's a funny motherfucker. Like, I, like, like I was like, yo, anybody got questions for Earthquake? And everyone just was like, yo, that nigga's a funny motherfucker. He gonna drink you under the table. No, 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 no. They, 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 they just was going in, and I'm looking at all these certified checks of all of these stars. Not and then the regular people, but the stars was coming in like, yo, oh, I, I'm tuning into this drink champs. This is gonna be the drink champs, and that's and that's that's warranted to what you did in this community, to what you did in comedy, to what you did for us, for us. And I just want you to know, face to face, man to man, you are one of the love, love legends of the legends. And we will always respect you, brother. I was so excited. I was like, yo, he want to do the show? I was like, yo, Herb Greg. I was like, what? We was excited. Me and this nigga both. Like, the, we came here early, and then you was here earlier. <laughs> we didn't like that. We, we said, hold up. You can't be here before us. We are the people. And, yeah, but it was so beautiful, man. Um, do you know how much of a legend you are? Well, that, first of all, Y'all show is so important. Yes, I have done 30 years of fucking 
interviews, and it's the only time my staff <laughs> demanded that they staff. had to come. <laughs> I love that staff. You know what I'm saying? They, they said if they couldn't come, they quit. <laughs> they quit. But well, we sent them a bottle of champagne. Yeah, 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 yeah. They, they, they had to come. Let's send a dip staff a bottle of eight uh, spades. Send them eight spades. If that's okay with you. Oh, no, if that's, that's good. They if good. that's okay with you, we send them um, a staff a bottle of eight spades. You know as a rapper, man. Yes. The least you want to do, the least you want to get respect from your peer. Right. Yeah. You, you... Bro, man to man. Yes. <laughs> you can't make the motherfucker gatekeepers give right. you your shot. Right. I don't give a fuck how funny you is. I can be the... F if funny was the criteria for making I'd be a superstar yeah. already. All right. yes. It's who you know, who want to take that chance on you, who want to give you the opportunity when they have the ear of the decision makers to right. say, hey, what do you want to do? I want to do this. But you know some, know somebody you want to talk to? Talk to them. Right. You need to see him. Right. They want to be with you. But if you say him, they'll give him the opportunity. Right. Very few of us had that. Right. So when I came to the conclusion, I can't control that. Right. Only thing I could control was be the funniest I could be and be to my niggas and say, hey, man, right. <laughs> come on. If, we, if anybody be honest with the shit, <laughs> if we judging it on jokes, how can you not put my name in the motherfucking game? Mm. If we base it on jokes, I have nothing but jokes. I'm right. not gonna be, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna. You ain't gonna dance? I'm not gonna dance. I'm not gonna fuck, fuck with other. I, I'm gonna love, I'm gonna be a father to my kid. I'm gonna be mm. everything it is. I'm not gonna put my hands on. I'm not gonna chase anything that gives me a click. That mm. is, I'm not going to do none of that. I'm not. That's right. I'm going to, even if you do me wrong, nigga, I'm not going to come back at you. Mm. <laughs> I'm at least get an opportunity for me and you to talk and say what it is. Right. I'm never going to take that bait of trying to fuck you over for me to go this other way. I'm None of that. I'm just going to live on the basis that I thought y'all are judging Who's the funniest nigga? Mm. And if we having this conversation, if I'm not that, then who is? And tell me, where's they shit that put what will we have? Mm. Not what you heard. Not what you feel. Mm. Where's the work? Right. That's all I'm asking. And wherever it leads, I'm good with it. Put your stats right. up. First, second, third, fourth, fifth, <laughs> sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth, eleventh, wherever it is. But let's have a real fucking goddamn <laughs> discussion. Right. Because I don't see shit about jokes. Because I'm not seeing it. Right. <laughs> I'm not seeing it. But I'm not angry. Yeah. Right, right. I'm going to keep doing what it is, but I'm not going to get angry at none of them. And I hope the motherfuckers who have the ear of the industry say, hey, man, have you seen my boy Quake? You should see him. And I'm not trying to be you. I'm not trying to be them. I'm not trying to be nothing. Because what's for me is for me. And I can never be you. And you damn sure can't never be me. God damn Yo, man, I ain't gonna lie. You are everything I thought you was gonna be. And then more. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie. I, I am so open. Like, I wish you could see. I got goosebumps. <laughs> because, cause, cause, I mean, be honest with you. It be so many times that, you know, I'm a fan of somebody. I love them. And then I get to meet them in person. And they're the exact opposite of what I thought they were. Right. It's, it's very disappointing. Like, um... And for me to meet you, because I have never met you. I feel like I know you because I know your comedy. So, like, and, 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 and I said that recently because sometimes a fan would come up to me in the airport and just start talking to me. And I'd be looking at this nigga like, nigga, you don't know me. 
Like, but then they do. But then they do In because way, I right. feel like I know you. Yes. Like, because I'm your fan. You know what I'm saying? Right. So I like. So I recently learned to adapt to that. Because fans, I'll just be in a bar and they be like, yo, what's up? So, you know, you remember that time? So, so, and I'm looking at this nigga like, nigga, what the fuck is your problem? <laughs> I ain't never met you in no goddamn, and he does it. And it's like, but that's what it is with, with a lot of people that I'm fans of, and you particularly, like, I feel like I know you. You know what I'm saying? Even though this is my first time meeting you, I feel like I know you, and I feel like everything about your comedy is real. It's everything that you are and, and you embrace. Is there ever been a time that you said a joke that that was embarrassed you or your family? Um, yeah, but damn, <laughs> that was a risk you took. No, because I tell my family and my friends uh-huh. that everything's the, game. No, oh. um, the person who matters I already know. Mm. That's God. All right. Fuck what they think. Mm. See, I'm a fuck what they think is. Mm. Again, I'm a result oriented nigga. Who matters is God. Right. <laughs> so he already knows. So I don't give a fuck if you know. You ain't a factor. Right. You right, understand? Right. Right. You can't fuck with us. We are laughing among each other. That right. was a fucked up shit. Back to the premise that we're flawed people. Right. So this was our flawed shit and we laugh about it. Right. You hold on to it. Right. You hide from it. My team, we laugh about it and we moved on with it. Right. I facilitate that because I'm the leader of it. You understand what I'm saying? So if I could sit here and say, this is my flawedness of it, then we have no problem with it. And that's why I say it. So, you know, yes, my woman said, my brother said, my mother said it, and I tell them the same thing. All y'all believe in God, they already know, and we know, fuck them. <laughs> Fuck them. <All> right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, well, yeah. Let's laugh the government in public. Yes. <laughs> and sitting in the house. Mm. Are we making you know some noise for that? <laughs> we making some noise for that? I ain't gonna lie. Is, is you manicured up? Oh, of course. Yeah, you are manicured. I, I, I let him Your shit know. been shining yeah, this I whole shine. time. Shit. <laughs> yeah, Your I, shit yeah, is on fleek this yeah, whole time. Yeah, I ain't gonna yeah, lie to you. I get the brush. I ain't, I ain't touch brush your hair, but you, yeah. like you got the softest hands in Nebraska. <laughs> well, I'm being I don't honest with you. Softest hands in Nebraska. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't lift nothing but a mic, <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yes. You look, <laughs> yo, after he dropped that nuke, nothing's been the same. After he dropped the nuke, baby. <laughs> I don't live nothing but a mic, man. I ain't never looked at a man and said, you got some smooth ass hair. <laughs> yeah, I tried that shit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, nah, I'm not a maintenance nigga. <laughs> nah, your hair is smooth. <laughs> you, you, nah. you look like you never worked in your life. I'm not physically. <laughs> not physically. <laughs> not physically. I respect that. I'm not oh, a shit. labor nigga. <laughs> oh, shit. Are we taking a shot for that? All right, what, this is it. Last shot. Come on, you got to take a flight. We got to make sure you get yes, it. All right, make go sure. ahead, nigga. I'm going to take what you're drinking. Go, go ahead. Oh, Put it you in don't there. want that. <laughs> I'm going to drink that. Fuck it. All right. Go ahead, nigga. All right. Pour that shit. All right. All right. All right. I'm going to stick with what I, I know. I ain't flying the jet. There <laughs> you go. I just got to get there. <laughs> just push me off, nigga. <laughs> and I'm sorry, you ain't passed the blunt in one motherfucking time. Oh, no. Your hospitality, man. No, I, th- I, I, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie to you. I was like, I guess I don't get to hit the blunt in one motherfucking time. <laughs> Joint nigga, I'm so man, I do joint, but he, I'm he with you. Joint. No, but I'm with you, oh, dog. Fuck you, I have to smoke what you smoke, it, it, man. It, 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 Thank you. And all. Thank you, Let's nigga. Let's I, I take that chance, with you, nigga. Nigga. I don't get this there, nigga. You, you that Sometimes, nigga, I'm, nigga. I, you nigga. That I take nigga. that chance with you, nigga. Take the shot, take the shot, take the shot. Yo.
Man, we, and you, you know what that is, right? That's that Flor de Caña. That's, that's that Mama Juana? No, Flor de Caña now. Well, I, I, ran, I ran out of Mama Juana. What is that? Uh, it's rum. That's, huh? Okay. Rum. Exactly. Sorry. You, you, you black, nigga. Stick to what you know. <laughs> Stick to what you know. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Take the picture. Well, let me just tell you something. That's how you know he's a real drinker. Do you see what he just did? He went like this. All right, for the audience that know, this is how you down a shot. This is also how you down an oyster. Every what time the you eat a fuck? yes, every time you eat an oyster, the oh. proper way is to turn that oyster upside down because there's a drunk motherfucker in your crew. Is gonna take a shot out there. That shit? might take the shot. They might use a condom like you did too. You know what I'm it wasn't me, my friend. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. That is a fact. Holy moly, guacamole. So, so earthquake. What is next after the strike? Right, right is blocked. We're gonna get the sitcom going. We get a TV show. Yes. Um, please come see me, Live Nation, and hooked up with a brother. I be in DC for my MGM. I'm at the MGM mm. on September the first. Ooh, earthquake! That's, that's what you can be Yes, please I'm come see 6th. me. Yes, get your tickets early. I'm doing it. Um, I'm gonna do a TV show, and I'm gonna do another special. I'm a um. Do a couple of commercials. Mm. My, my my radio show is number one on Sirius XM. That's right. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna I'm gonna put more on there. I'm gonna I'm gonna break it off and work a deal with Netflix to give the comedians that come on my show specials mm. the sure. show on there for content for them. And then uh, man, I'm gonna try to stay healthy and get in shape. And uh, fuck real niggas like you. That's right, got that. Hell yeah. <laughs> well, man, this has been everything I thought it was going to be and, and a little bit more. So I'll, on that note, Jamie, are you here? I will, last shot, I promise. The last shot, I promise. Uh, Man, you your, say, oh, your last shot, oh, yeah. I promise. We hear two hours later, like, yeah. no, this is the last shot, nah. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> nah, man, this was this was so. This, it's a nah. Cuban Cuba goodbye. Nah, this was yeah, it's a Cuban goodbye. My bad. Yeah, this was so dope, earthquake, man. I ain't gonna lie. Nah, we. Man. Nah, it's a, uh, first of all, I'm gonna tell y'all something. Yeah, it's an honor to be here. Thank you so much. No, it's an honor really, for us as really, well. from man to man, yeah. it's an honor to be here. My staff, you understand? Mm -hmm. I want to give them so shout out because they don't. I do interviews everywhere. We doing the drink camp. We doing the drink camp. Them motherfuckers came. They here. They here. And they said. And they. And, and they, they drinking the most honor. expensive bottle of champagne yeah. right now. Know what I'm saying? The drink champ. <laughs> what I'm saying to y'all, man. Thank y'all for having us. No, thank Anytime you, you thank need you. anything from me on this, I support y'all. I'm here. Thank you for the opportunity for being on your show. No, but we got to reverse it. that. We got to tell you anytime you want to promote anything. I don't even give a fuck if you want to promote your, your pink toenails. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. He, he's I'm, actually I'm, hoping you want to yeah, promote yeah, your pink toenails. You, <laughs> he's you, like, you, great content. I don't care if you're dropping an earring line. We don't give a fuck. You come over here, you promote whatever the fuck you want, anytime you Why want. Why you give him pink toys and an earring line? I don't know. <laughs> See, that's what we Gemini. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you. Thank you, nigga. That's a Gemini. <laughs> well, that was the first thing that came to my mind. I'm sorry. So, um, you know I'm from special ad. So, um, uh, and resource room. So, um, yes, uh, Anytime you want to promote anything, man, brother, you are you are hilarious. You are a legend. You are an icon, and you are somebody that we want want to continue to give their flowers to. You know what I mean? Because uh, one million percent, you deserve it. Thank you, brother. Thank you. 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 Thank you.